everybody. How's it going? It's good to see you all. We are getting ready to play some King SMP. I know ads just started for a lot of you, so I'm not going to get into too much of the deep plans for today. But I wanted to say hi to everybody first. Uh, so congrats on grabbing first Swiftu. That is your second time since we've added the redemption there. Uh, and thank you to Swiftu, Sammy, and Spicy for submitting your taxes. Hope you're all doing well. We got a fixer, a fixer indeed. A fixer indeed. How is my little misogynist? That's crazy. There's nothing little about misogyny, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, but yes, I, I fixed things today. And I feel very, very happy about it. I wasn't sure I was actually going to, to fix the, the misogyny. The misogyny, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do fix misogyny. I, I have done it, sort of. I am a lot more controlled now, okay? But uh, that's not what I was referring to. Uh, there, there's been this plugin that's not been working. And I have had to decompile it. And then take it to Eclipse and then recode certain portions of it because, as it turns out, it was using Bungie as a dependency. And we've never had Bungie on the server, we've never had Bungie in that file packet. So I don't know how it worked originally, it must have found a way around it. However, however, I I, I threw it into chat GPT and it was like, hey, like if you're getting this error, you should do this, which is not what it was saying about Bungie. But I was like, OK, fine, that's fine. And I went through this whole process with chat GPT on rewriting all the code for some of these files. And then it, it worked, it worked. And all the names were white instead of colored, you know, in, in this case, like there, see that? That's what it's supposed to look like, but it was just plain white. Like, okay, that's weird, but at least it's working now. Uh, for those of you who don't know the plugin I'm talking about, if you do slash titles on my server or slash prefix, it lets you pick your own title before your name, so that way you can uh, show off to everybody. Uh, if you don't have some of the titles that you're supposed to have, let me know and I can fix it. We haven't been keeping up to date with this because it's been kind of broken. But, uh-oh. Okay. So, you can't get to the next page. That is an issue. <laughs> that is an issue. But we'll, we'll fix that another time. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, my admin, for example, my newest admin, Pi... Uh, he's not been able to pick admin. He's been stuck in mod. And so it wouldn't let him change between mod up to, hang on, uh, up to admin. Well, now that's fixed. Uh, but hex code wasn't working because it was tied to Bungie. And I argued with ChatGPT over and over and over again because it kept trying to import Bungie as a function there. And it's like, Bungie doesn't exist. We don't have it. It's not a library. Stop trying to use it. Well, it kept trying and kept trying and kept trying. So I eventually just shut it down and I was like, okay, listen. This is what I've got. This is what you can work with. Take it or leave it. And suddenly it just started pulling everything out of the air and working. And I was like, okay, that's fine. That's cool. It's, it's not working entirely, I guess, but I mean, I think it's only this way because of the fact that I have access to all the titles. Theoretically, somebody that doesn't have access to every single title probably, um, probably could see all their, their titles, maybe. I don't know. Um, but now it's all working, so, well, most of it anyway. <laughs> Why so close? Uh, I just felt like it. Imagine having to watch ads. Imagine. Yours is, you never have, you have never fixed your misogynist ways. I feel like people like it when I'm misogynistic, which is concerning. You guys should not be encouraging it, but, you know, I appreciate it. You guys take me how you get me. <laughs> Bungie has a dependency? Yelp. Yelp. It was a weird one. I'm sorry, butt pirate? Yeah, butt pirate. That's, um... <laughs> My brother-in-law requested that, 
And uh, so I was like, okay, yeah, sure, we'll make Butt Pirate. And so there it is. <laughs> uh, he's the only one that has access to it besides me and a couple of admins, I guess. Um, but he, he uh, that was what he wanted, and so that's what he got. Okay. Um, you could have called me. I'm very good at Java crap. I, I was going to do it myself, and then I opened it up, and I'm like, I just realized I don't remember how this works. Uh, also, I, I had run the bone meal farm, and uh, it, is, it is filled up here, and uh, it has filled up to see this chest so we can run the uh wood farm for a while now and it should be good uh but i was gonna do it all myself and then i realized i don't remember how to run java which is like kind of a big deal if you're trying to work on a plugin i kind of remember a lot of things now uh i java syntax is so easy i i love java syntax it makes so much sense um however Yo, spicy, welcome. Um, I'll say this much. I don't remember how, like, uh, a lot of it, how, how to actually code in it, but I understand how to read it, which is helpful. And uh, I, it annoyed me to no end. King is built like a butt pirate. That's crazy. <laughs> that is so crazy. Um... I I actually had to correct ChatGPT on a lot of its syntax uh, because it kept forgetting to uh, declare like the the package, so it would just go straight into importing things instead of saying like package and then the name of the file and how to get to it, so that it could reference back to other things. And that was like a huge issue uh, that I kept finding with it, and that's why it was breaking a lot. Uh, so we're on, like, version 1.7, I think, of the plugin. Here, I can check. Uh, no, I can't check. I didn't f update that. Okay. I think it's 1.7. Uh, I stole... <laughs> I had to steal the code from somebody else. Like, he doesn't have the source files out there. So I was like, okay, fine. I will take it. I will decompile your plugin. Every single file. And surprisingly, it all worked. I, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, right. Dang it. That's not what I wanted to do today, but we're going to work on my sugarcane farm, and we're going to work on a creeper farm because I need to. Um, so... What if we use this cave system that Bionics is going to build for me to put in, like, uh, the rocket farm? I think that would be kind of cool. Thank you for the follow, Omar. Much appreciated. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. I'm sorry about Pyra. I've been playing... Uh, I'm quiet because I'm playing Cult of the Lamb. Fair enough. How are you enjoying Cult of the Lamb, by the way, Sammy? Uh, hear me out. A kid's movie about a pirate whose face is like a butt. Butt pirate the movie. I don't know if I want to make that. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> It would probably be a banger, though, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where do I want to put it? We'll put, like, the sugarcane farm over here, I think. Like, along this way. And then we'll probably put, like, the creeper farm over here. And then I just need to light up everything to make sure the creeper farm works well. So we'll actually probably... Uh... Hmm. I don't know. We'll clean it up. We'll figure things out. Shouldn't you be at 12.49 now? I don't think so. Um, we were at we were at 12.47 at the beginning of stream. So uh, we just got one. I think. I don't remember. I don't really pay attention to the follower count if I'm honest. Followers is well and good. It's kind of like subscribers on YouTube, though. It's all—it's nice that you have them, but 
is that number accurate to your audience size? And I, I mean, yeah, it helps. Don't get me wrong. It definitely helps. But you're looking at like a fraction of a fraction of my viewership coming from followers. Well, all my, all my viewership is from followers, but not all my followers are viewership, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Uh, very fun, very fun. Nice. Uh, let's see. I need... Do I have a redstone box or anything? We'll see. Um, we'll need those. We'll need... For those of you who didn't see us playing last time, we made an AI girlfriend for Anthony, which was amazing. That was really fun. And it's really tempting to do that some more later on. Uh, you know, later down the road, I would really like to do that. Uh, wait, yeah, can I have an AI girlfriend? Um, I don't know yet. I don't want to lag out the server, but I would kind of like to give everyone one at some point. Um, but it would be so fun. It would be so, so fun. I can't have one. Uh, not yet. No. <laughs> Eventually, maybe. Hopefully. Season 4 is going to happen eventually, and when Season 4 happens, then, you know, everybody can have their own AI waifu, I guess, maybe. If I have my way, then yes, everyone will get one. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I can't? Oh, dang. I just gotta decide, like, what's the prerequisite for it, because, like, I can't just realistically give everybody their own NPC to follow them around. Because that will lag the server. Because they do, they they just stand there after after you spawn them in and you leave, they stand there. So that instantly lags the game if you got like a thousand people have joined. Which there's been a thousand people have joined our server. Um. So the issue you would run into would be that optimization for that would suck. So you'd have to make it so like they have to pay. Um, <laughs> fireworks, wow, <laughs> you're so, so selling on this, gosh, I hate bots, uh, doo -doo -doo. I need to really quick check my unban requests, because it found out, I need to really quick Whoa. check my unban requests, because it found I hear out. myself, but I don't know from where, Whoa. Where I am I? Myself, but I don't know from where. Oh, Help. <laughs> where I am I? Oh no, I'm watching myself in my, my chat window. How do I get back? No. Okay, um... Refresh chat. That did it. Okay. Multiple kings. Multiple kings indeed. <laughs> okay, I just wanted my moderator icons. Where are they? Um... Show mod icons. There we go. Okay. And then I also wanted to do IP so that I could pin that to the top of chat. That way nobody else to ask. Because I know, like, some people out there, they really like to lurk, but they don't like to talk. And I don't blame you. I, I don't like talking to people at first. I, it takes me a while to warm up. So that's why that's there. Um, so you guys don't have to talk to me. Because I, I, I recognize I'm kind of a little bit scary. Uh, I mean, you guys have seen me. <laughs> I'm not exactly the most, uh, friendly person either. <laughs> okay, uh, we need... You are not scary. I don't know, man. I've been told I'm scary. I don't know why, but people do think I am. <laughs> Maybe that's because they didn't take the time to know me, but that's okay. Multiple kings, the king of verse. <laughs> king, I married to three people in my cult. Dang, got that W Riz. Gosh, um, I thought you meant in character AI. No, I didn't make a character AI wife, but I, I did, I did make him one in Minecraft. So I think that's equally as good. 
Um, shouldn't you be a... Okay, I already read that. Dating show event? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. <laughs> I don't even know how we would begin to tackle that. But, um... <laughs> okay, I have a couple of ideas. But I'm not entirely sure how I would tackle it yet. I'll have to think about it. I will have to think about it. Congrats on grabbing the, uh, uh, or submitting your taxes. Thank you, Nuggy. Sixth time, jeez. Has it really been, like, that long since I've added it? It feels like yesterday since we've added the taxes. Um, not with that thingy, bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna ban the phrase thingy. I'm going to do it. And then I don't know what you guys are gonna do about, about it. You're probably just gonna find something even worse to say, but... At least I can say I tried, right? Okay. Um, hello. Let me check my most viewed bot. I questions. I ask questions back and forth. Thingy. I would ban that one instantly. Gosh, that one's awful. <laughs> Thingy, but sad. <laughs> I've been on Val for like 10 hours. Why? Why would you do that to yourself? That is... That is awful. Uh, Miss Spicy wouldn't like it. That's fair. That is fair. No, <laughs> I, I'm gonna... One day I'm gonna die and you guys are gonna regret everything you've ever said to me, okay? <laughs> Gosh, I'm sorry, that escalated really quickly. But I have no regrets, weirdly enough. <laughs> Where's all of my redstone? I used to have, like, observers and... Like, other things. But I don't have them anymore, and I need observers. Uh... Where would I put them? Maybe over here? With the other farm? I don't know. We'll check. Uh, my most chatted with bot that I created has over 4,000 chats. Jeez. I don't mean to brag, but... Oh! Thank you so much for subscribing, Infinite. I appreciate it. How are you doing, homie? 16 months. Wow. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long while since that. Wow. Okay. Coming up on two years. Two years. That's gross. That's gross to think about. I have an addiction. I understand. I have just recently overcome my Valorant addiction. I am free. I just have to delete the 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 um the app and I'm free. Okay, do I I didn't put any down here. We need to clean this out, don't we? <laughs> uh probably. I was going to use this for a lot more than what I did. It's fine. Uh, we're going to TP out really quick. I don't know where all my redstone went. I must have either given it away. I I definitely didn't use it. Because I have... I have not built like anything redstone related in this world. I don't know. Um, doing good, homie. About to get the scare on with Silent Hill. Oh, nice. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Uh, don't say that. My back's aching from those words. I'm sorry. Just know it. It's hard on me too, knowing that that it's been that long. Wow. Okay. Um. I went at 6k and one at 5k. Can't tell what the bots are about though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's scary, but okay. Um, I've never played Val. I don't touch it. Don't don't play Valorant. Uh, Nuggy, you've got two years, two months, and 21 hours. Gosh. Just missing 22, 22. It's coming up. It's soon. Very, very soon. Uh, Swifty, you've been watching, or following, for one year, six months, nine days. Spicy, you've been following for 27 days, 22 hours, and 19 minutes. 
And Sammy, you have been following for one year, three months, and 26 days. Jeez. And an infinite with one year, eight months, and 25 days. This is insane. Like, I, I say that the, those, like, days and those years, like, they're nothing, but they are something. They are, they are something. Like, that is a considerable portion. I mean, two years? Uh, who, who had two years? Nuggy, you had two years? Um, that is a tenth of my life. That should put it into perspective for some people, I guess. It puts it into pers perspective for me. Um. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, play it. Play Val with me. I am never playing Val ever. No, never again. I'm actually gonna make a video where I delete it. So, uh, no, I'm not playing it <laughs> ever again. <laughs> Uh, Swiftu has 257.25 hours of watch time. Sammy's got 45.67. Infinite has 409. <laughs> and Nuggy has 436.50 hours. Jeez, you guys are all insane. How am I at the same time as Infinite? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. I haven't watched uh, much for a long time. That's okay, Sammy. You being here now is what matters to me. <laughs> I know life, King. I didn't realize how much you know life, but I appreciate it, homie. <laughs> I'm going to call you Kingy Wingy with the big thingy. I'm, I'm this close to banning the phrase. I'm this close. <laughs> uh, play Val with me. I don't think I will. Sp uh, sorry, not spicy. Uh... Gus. I don't think I will, Gus. I don't think I will. Also, thank you for submitting your taxes. Much appreciated. Uh, just ban me, boom, problem solved. If you would go to bed, then yeah, I would ban you. But you wouldn't go to bed, so I'd rather you just be here. <laughs> Maybe I could bore you to sleep. I got King's pinky in my pocket when it comes to Val. If I if I ever play Val again, it probably would be with you, Infinite. Which I I hate. I don't want to play Val anymore. But I know you could easily convince me. Oh. Oh. Oh, you are amazing. Uh, hang on. Let me put that down. Okay. I don't know how much of that I'm going to be able to use, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, do, do, do. Hello there. Thank you for the follow, Jam. Jam. I'm going to call you Jam if that's okay. Um, one away. We are one away. Oh. Would you guys believe me if I told you I didn't want to do a 12-hour stream? <laughs> Would you guys believe me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. 12-hour uh, streams just hurt. They hurt. They hurt so badly. I'd have to do like half streams the entire week leading up. But I'll do it. Like, I promised you guys I would, so I will. But I don't know why I promised that I would, because I I don't have the energy for it anymore. Um, King should play Stumble Guys with Gus and I. What's is Stumble Guys just Fall Guys? Is that all it is? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll consider it. I used to play Fall Guys a lot. I used to play it a lot with uh, some of my friends. Hey, welcome to the server. Uh, want to catch up on chat? I need more Valve friends. I made a couple, but not enough. 
I don't play Val. I, 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 I know you're not trying to convince me necessarily, but I don't want to play Val. Don't ask me, please. <laughs> please. Can you play Apex with me? I used to love Apex. I need to get all the achievements in Apex so I can quit. I really need to. I've been trying... I've been debating getting Marie to play Apex with me again, just for old time's sake. That way, um, we can both grind out the last of the achievements. Because I, I need to, like, get a couple of wins. And actually, I think that's it. Hang on, let me check. Um, Steam. Okay. Library. Okay. Uh, Apex Legends. What do I need? I need to... I need to win a game as a support character, as a controller character, and I need to deal 5,000 damage with eight different legends, and then win a game with eight different legends. But once I do that, I can quit the game. <laughs> I, I, can, I can quit the game if I do all those. So, I mean, it's tempting, Gus. It's tempting. I might, I might have to take you up on that, possibly. Um, let's see. I don't trust anything you say. Fair enough. I'm a liar. Uh, King should play some guys with Gus and I uh, during the 12 hour stream. I have some planning to do, but I might. We'll see. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, Fall Guys, but better, but better. We need to play Jackbox during it too, or we should just play Jackbox. If I play Jackbox on stream ever again, shoot me. Okay, listen, it was fun while it lasted, but you guys are filthy. You are filthy, okay? <laughs> it was a funny idea. It was a funny idea. It was a good time. It was a good time. However, I don't need to know what Shrek was doing, okay? <laughs> we, we said some things... We laughed at some things. Hello there. And I regret it. Infinite 2.0. That's crazy, Infinite. That's crazy. Wow. You did it. We did it. Yay. We did it. Um. We did it. Yay. Yay. We did it. We did it. Yay. Yay. We did it. Yay. <laughs> uh 1.25k. Yay. <laughs> uh I should be so much happier than I am. And I am happy. Don't get me wrong. I I am very appreciative of all of you guys. But I don't know if you can tell, but there's not much excitement behind this voice. Uh, 12 hours is rough, but it'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, homie. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, it's crazy. Uh, actually, you know what? About a year ago today, about around there, uh, we hit 1,000 followers. So... It's about time for that that next long stream, I suppose. It's been it's been almost a full year since we did the the twenty four hour, which no matter what anybody says, we're not doing another twenty four hour, okay? <laughs> that one nearly killed me. Uh thank you so much for the bits, Omi. I appreciate it. You're the best. You are simply the best. Oh jeez. Oh <laughs> and some more. Time for a regathon. Why have I never thought of a regathon? That is that is a great idea. <laughs> Should have had Miss Spicy follow. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. You're amazing, homie. Oh jeez. Apex is so fun. Do you actually like Apex, Gus? I I might be down. I might be. Fall guys fell off because they had the max players cut in half. It's a game that is Best with a lot of players. Okay, that's fair. Someone's out is got a gun outside. It's not gun season. Welcome to America. I uh, guess you blow uh, teaching what? Ain't turned. You ain't teaching Riz courses. Okay. 
Gus Gus has all the riz. I don't know what you're on about. You did it. He we did it. We did it. Yay. We did it. Oh jeez. Okay. A hundred subs for a twenty four hour stream. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. A hundred subs is seven hundred for me. Uh a hundred subs if somebody gave a hundred subs right now, it would be two hundred fifty dollars, I think is what I get. I think, because it's like $5 now. Or is it 6 Did they up it to 6 It might be 300 now. I might get 300 for it, which... That's it. So, I only get half the money from subs. I only get 50% of the income. So, um... It's five ninety nine. Okay, so in that case, yeah, I'm only getting uh, $2 and... Or no. Well, I'm getting almost $3 per sub. Um, so it's, it's, it's nice to get that. And honestly, it would actually be really helpful in some regards, uh, because there are people who do go and check out your stream for going, oh yeah, a hundred subs. Wow. Um, that's crazy. But like, I, I could make some shorts out of that. Maybe I'd consider it. I don't know. I need to get back into making highlights and stuff. Maybe we'll think about it. Uh, but the the hard thing about subs is like it's helpful, like especially like gifted subs and stuff. It's helpful because people get ad free, so then they get hooked to watching you. If they haven't watched you in a while, and then they get gifted a sub, then they're like, "Whoa, that's cool! You're you're really awesome. Uh, let me watch you again." Uh, so it brings community back to some degree, but at the same time, it's kind of like at, if you're just trying to give me money. Yeah, don't don't gift subs. They they're they're, they're kind of eh. <laughs> I don't know. That's just me. I I appreciate however you guys choose. I'm not picky, but um but yeah, you're you're not wrong. If you're just trying to give people money, I uh, just give them the money. <laughs> PayPal takes less of a fee even. Um I'll be up for the whole regathon. 12 hours isn't bad. I, I would be okay with you staying up for 12 hours. Uh, yo, you fixing the thingy? I did fix the thingy. Um, so now you can do slash um, prefix or slash titles, and you can select your title. Uh, so it actually works now instead of breaking. Sort of. It, it doesn't let you scroll through the pages yet, but I'm working on it. Um, also thank you for submitting your taxes, Ant. How's it going, by the way? It's good to see you. Um, I finally set up a dono system, but I can't be up for 72. They're close enough. I'm not following. I'm sorry. Uh, it's probably me. I'm moving on too quick. Uh, what am I looking for? I need to check up on Athena. Yes, yes. We, we need to, we need to check up on Athena. See how she's doing. I will 100% be up for the full 12 hours and helping you not die. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I, I have a tendency to get really tired during the stream, so I'm going to be planning out things hopefully like once every hour to do something like special. But we'll, we'll wait and see. Uh, I'm not entirely certain how that's going to go. I might also split it off into two VODs, like two to six hour VODs, because uh, YouTube is dumb. <laughs> YouTube is so incredibly dumb. So to do like a full 12 hour stream, uh, unless you're just starting and stopping directly on the 0 and the 12, you cannot upload it to, uh, to YouTube, because they only allow up to 12 hours. So I might split it in half just for VOD's sake and keeping the thumbnails kind of nice. I don't know. We'll see. I'd kind of like to do a dono goal, maybe, possibly, for the stream as well, for some things. It wouldn't be like a regathon or, or a subathon or a memberathon, whatever terminology you would like to use there, uh, where, you know, you add more time. But it would be kind of like uh, special rewards out of it, maybe. I don't know. I've got a couple of rewards I'd like to give you guys. 
I actually have a list pulled up somewhere. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. Uh, is it this one? No. <laughs> is it uh, this one? No. This one. Yes. Okay, that's the Finding Love doc. Okay, we need to find the other one. Just chatting stream. I think it was on this one. No, it's not. Okay. Is it this one? No. <laughs> I'll find it. I'll find it. I promise. Uh, perhaps this one? No. <laughs> I actually think I lost the document. Uh-oh. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but I, had, I have a list somewhere of things I'd like to reward you guys with, and it would pay for itself and then give a little extra so I can... Spend it on other things that you guys don't know about yet. <laughs> Which I'll tell you guys about when I get it, because I, I like to keep it a surprise. Um, but I'll, I'll think about it, and I'll give you guys, like, probably two weeks in advance before we actually do the, uh, the 12-hour stream. But, um, we'll see. I, I got, like, a small couple of things I still need to plan about it. I set up a dono system for my stream. I'm not allowed to be up for 72 hours. 12 and 72 are close enough. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I, 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 I think 72 and 12 has a huge difference, but to each their own. Uh, I, should be, I should do a 24-hour stream. I'll be back in a bit. See ya. All right, see ya later, Nuggy. 24-hour streams are cool. They're just rough. They're really hard on the body. I'll cancel all plans for this stream. Gosh, that, that's, oh no. <laughs> that's a terrifying thought. I don't know, I'll think, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know in the Discord though, especially, so exclamation mark Discord if you're not already a part of it. And uh, there'll be a date set for it and everything. Um, I'd like to kind of tie it to some other things though, some fun things maybe. So I might try to plan some stuff with some friends, possibly. Uh, and give, like, a nice little segment there. Um, depending on how bad it is, I might even have a scheduled break just so I could go take a shower. Um, I don't like taking breaks during those streams because it makes it just longer. But we'll see. If I do it, though, I'll, I'll let somebody have, like, a, a full segment of just them streaming on my channel or whatever. Make it extra fun. Halfway th through doing intermission. That's kind of my thought. Maybe. I don't know. If we do that, I'd like to maybe... I don't know. I, I, I would consider throwing on like a... Um... A special video or something, which... Might not be a bad idea. I don't know if I could get it enough. But I have a channel I'm supposed to be launching before the end of the year, or near the end of the year. I might be able to get it close enough to being done that I could launch or do a sneak peek preview on some of the videos for that and just let them play. And I think I've told you guys what the channel is. It's just old videos from me that I've unlisted or deleted because I they don't fit current channels. Um... Or they were unfinished videos that I ended up scrapping in the middle of editing or recording. Um, so, you know, I, I, have, I have a channel that's almost ready to go. I might possibly just let that play during uh, the intermission. If we do one, we'll see. Now let me stay up, Mom. <laughs> Bruh. Am I allowed to call you on the stream? Like the 12-hour stream? Uh, maybe? Possibly? I'm not entirely certain yet how I'm gonna do it, but I'd kind of be interested in doing, like, a little segment during it where you guys could say whatever you want to say. I think it could be fun. It's like, Kingy Wingy Archives. It's actually called the... I think it's called the King Reg Archives. I don't remember. 
But yeah, it, it is it is literally just an archive channel. It's kind of like the VOD channel, but without the VODs. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I may not glaze in though, or I may be you copying me now. What do you mean? I'm not copying you, I promise. Ouch. 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 Stop hitting me. Okay. I think we lit it up enough, so hopefully that should stop the creeper's uh, spawn cap from being taken up by this. Uh, so now we can build a couple of farms. So we need to build our... I would say we need to build the, the um, sugarcane farm first. Um, okay. Oh, give me one second. I have been... I have been pinged. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. We're good. Spicy wheat peppers archives. Anyone? <laughs> I know you aren't. I didn't know you had an archive channel, but I respect it. I I started mine. Uh, I haven't like started started. I made it though, like three months ago, four months ago. Whenever April Fools was, I I made it before then because it was for the video, I think. I did I tell you guys about that during the April Fools Day thing? That's the channel I was referencing in it. I think. I think I said I was gonna make a new channel for you guys. I don't remember. Uh, that that may have been in the cut script. I had to cut out some stuff because it felt too long. Um. Or no, no, it wasn't April Fool's, sorry. Hang on, I did mention it in the April Fool's Day video, but I ended up cutting it out. Uh, it was the three-year, the three-year video. Three-year anniversary video, I mentioned it. And I think I did mention it by name. Uh, so like August 2nd, when the video came out. Uh, <laughs> I, I made that video like three days in advance, I think. I recorded it three days in advance. I probably edited it over that course of time. I don't know. Alright, let me sleep. Okay, we need to start getting some materials for this. So we need redstone, which we already have. We need pistons, which we don't have. So let's go ahead and start making, like, a bunch of pistons. I'd kind of like to do... I, I know how to build this farm, sort of, vaguely. Um, so I'm going to try to do it from memory if I can. It's been a long time since I built it. Uh, so I'm gonna need, like, a lot of pistons. We'll see. We'll see how we can do. But I'd, I'd like to do it, if we can. Uh, almost no one knows what my, uh, what the archives channel- Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, sorry, I'm back. Phone died. No worries, Sammy. Welcome back. King, you can't tell me to sleep. Don't you stay up till, like, 4 a.m.? I do, but I also sleep till, like, the middle of noon, so... I, I feel like it's... I'm I'm getting an appropriate amount of sleep. I mean, I can tell you how much I slept last night, and I stayed up late last night. I kept trying to go to bed, and then I was like, "Oh, well, let me do this, and then let me do that," and then I was like, "Oh, I think I know how to fix the plugin." And next thing I knew, okay, I didn't really sleep much last night. No, okay, there it goes. I was gonna say, never mind. Uh, I went to bed at about five a.m., and then I woke up at twelve. No. Okay, it says I woke up at 11.30, but I distinctly remember going back to bed because I was like, you know what, I'll just wait till 12. Uh, so it says I slept for almost seven hours, but realistically it's probably seven and a half. Also, am I wearing my watch? I am. Okay. I'm on average sleeping six, and, six, six hours a night. The last six months, it's been eight hours a night, which, oh, why, why am I digressing? I, I, I've been trying to get my sleep back to where it's supposed to be, because my body has been feeling every bit of, like, no sleep. And it's been hurting me. It's been hurting so bad. So I was like, okay, yeah, this is the year I'm going to fix it. And I, I've been fixing it for the most part, especially, like, the last... Uh... 
over summer really is where I started feeling like I actually had some amount of control over my sleep schedule. But since since I've started um, taking on projects again, I've noticed it's gotten worse, which is not great. But at the same time, I don't know. I've got friends in different time zones that I want to talk to. I'm tired of not being able to talk to them, you know? And I've got friends who are night owls. <laughs> I used to be one of them, but I'm trying to do better, and I, I want to still talk to them. So I've been doing my best to stay up a little later so I can talk to them, even if it's just for 30 minutes. Uh, I don't. Sleeping sucks. I, I hate sleeping, but I know I need to. That's that's the thing. I don't like sleeping. It's it's just a unfortunate necessity. If I could, if I had it my way, I wouldn't be sleeping, because uh, when I'm sleeping, I'm not working, and when I'm not working, I feel kind of useless. <laughs> uh, that sounds really depressing, but that's just the way it is. Um, okay, what all do you need for a piston anyway? Is it cobblestone and iron as well? I think it is. Let me come down here. Or do they require redstone for it? Hang on. Uh, not that one. Uh, piston. Redstone, dang it. Okay. That's fine. We, we, wait, we, do we, do we, we don't. Okay. Let's say, do we have the, uh, the thing we need? Um, but we don't. So what I'm gonna do... Okay, we'll take, uh, a couple of stacks here. Just a few. Okay. That should hopefully be enough for now. Uh, in the meantime, we'll go up. Uh, do I actually have a way out, or do I just teleport all the time? I actually... <laughs> I think I actually just teleport. Okay. Uh, let me try to get out of here, then. I hate, I hate teleporting everywhere, because... I feel like people look at it and go, man, this guy doesn't know how to play survival. And it's like, yeah, I don't. But I do know how to play games without teleporting everywhere. It's just I usually have rockets. <laughs> if I had it my way, we would have not brought back TPA, by the way. I, I tried very hard to get rid of TPAs. But you guys are like, but King, we want we want teleports. And I'm like, okay, fine. We'll, 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 we'll allow TPAs. Um, and, and then once I allowed that, people were like, well, why the cooldown? The cooldown sucks. I'm like, I get it. It sucks. But I want you guys to play Minecraft, not teleport everywhere. Next season is going to be different, guys. I'm going to make you actually walk. Just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot of people mad at me. A lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people are gonna be mad. I actually don't know that to be true. I, I might not I might not get rid of TPAs entirely. I do see their value, but I also see their downfall. So how much sugar cane do we want? We probably want like 64. Because that would be, like, a significant amount, in my opinion. Um, the question would be, how do you do that? Because 64 would be, like... You could do up to a line of 12, I think. I think. Which means, um... Yeah, I think you could do a line of 12. And then, uh, so all I need is 12 divided by 64, or 64 divided by 12, sorry, uh, which is 5.333, so we're going to actually need 3, or 6 times 12, because we're going to build 12, so we need 72 pistons, that's what we need. <laughs> okay, simple enough. 
Um, more of that. Okay. Ads are starting about seven minutes, guys, so sit tight if you do end up in them. Uh, I'll be taking a quick break myself because I'm actually, my throat is starting to bother me. Uh, do, do, do. All right, I'm going to go listen to music and think of crystallization lore. All right, sounds good, Sammy. I was eating at uh, 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. until Kit started streaming at 9 p.m. Then the albums kept me up. Now this song, Spotify won't take my money. You sound like my mom. Wow. I'll make you walk. Too little sleep makes tasks easier to accomplish. To some degree, yes. It, it does, but it also doesn't. I, I find, like, it makes the creative tasks easier, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, let's see, we're at 68. What did we need? 72? Yeah, so we need um, four more. Okay. Uh, do we have any more iron? Crap, I'm out of iron. I'm gonna go grab some more. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Uh, let's see. I wonder if I could make a King Ragnog sub a tax write-off. Uh, hypothetically, yes. I think you can. Um, let me think. So, if your business was covering, like, other streamers and, like, what they're up to... Or um, or just donating to streamers in general, you could theoretically make your donations a tax write-off. Yeah, I think I'm not a tax expert, so don't take my tax advice as tax advice. It's just like tax thoughts, okay? <laughs> theoretically, if I understand it correctly, that that you you could do that. Uh, made massive progress on my mega base. I have a few pics of it, but they're really blurry. Ah, okay. That's awesome, dude. I, I, I wish I could say I've been doing the same. <laughs> my base is a little slow going, but, uh, I, I feel like we're getting somewhere with it. Now that we've got the plugin working, mostly working, I gotta fix the page slider, which I think I can. It should be in the GUI. In fact, I probably could fix it right now. But there's a GUI handler. And I think if I were to... If I were to get in there, I could probably find where the invalid line of code is that's not letting it pass and flip to the next page. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Okay, so over this way, right? Okay. Um, we'll actually go to where this line is right here. And so since we're doing six, I need to decide if we're going to stack them or if we're going to... Uh, well, stacking them would look cooler, I think. So we'll do two... So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So yeah, we'll line them up 2 by 2. So it'll be something like this. It'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you're going to put your pistons on here, and then there's going to be right about here, if I remember correctly. It actually watches this block. So there's going to be an observer watching that. So let me just set that up properly. I think... I think that's right. I don't have all my blocks on me, so this is going to be a little tough. But we'll make it work. Um, in fact, let me just go ahead and build like a subfloor. Just for now, until I'm done with uh, building. Uh... Because my PS PS4 can't handle the shaders and the picks. Oh, I gotcha. That's fair. PS4s aren't exactly the most beefy of machines, so 
I don't, I don't blame you there. Well, time to give you, Gus, Ant, and Kit all my money. I know that's not how they work. Oh, jeez. Okay, chat. I have been called a simp. And I've been called a simp by a lot of reliable sources. And my best friend says I'm not. But I'm not a simp. But it bugs me, okay? And I need to know, because I always can trust chat to tell the truth. Almost always. Uh, <laughs> am I a simp? <laughs> Super intense Minecraft player? Sure. Whatever your definition is. Because by definition, I guess I am. ChatGPT called me a simp. That should tell you something. But... I don't see it that way, personally. Like... I'm nice, sure, but is it a crime to be nice? And since when? Since when was it a crime? I don't know. I, I've been dealing with this in my head the last couple of days, and it's been bugging me. Alright, let me grab some... dirt. Thank you. Okay. Uh... There we go. Uh, you're not nice for the hope of a relationship or something. That's the simp definition. I feel like you're a simp, but not in the Gen Z way. <laughs> so am I a simp in the Gen Alpha way is the question, I guess. Oh, jeez. Um, so here would be water. Um, so then over here you'd have another dirt row, I guess. Like that. Okay. Let's get this started just to see if it works. Um, it might not. <laughs> so, some pistons, right? They would line the wall right here. I'm gonna snooze ads just for a minute so we can finish this conversation. Because I'm really curious what you guys are saying about it. Uh, you're just nice. You're just a nice guy. If you don't get it, listen to the nice guy ballad. Okay. So reading some of the past messages, you fixed the ranks? Yes. <laughs> Mostly. Uh, you can't turn the page on the menu yet, but everything else works. Okay. Um, no, you're a simple person, but Gen Z uses it as down bad. <laughs> okay. I, I didn't, I, I don't know how to feel about being called a simple person, but I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, it's sung by Wilbur Soot, and even though he's like a vampire, the music is still good. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll have to check it out sometime then. The fact that you called him a vampire is crazy, but I know exactly what you're referring to. <laughs> so, you're not exactly wrong either. Your needs are simple. That's fair. That That is, that is a fair observation. Um... Wait, I can't do that as long as I want, can I? I could, actually. Well, no, I can't. Um. Okay. See, I, I, I wasn't thinking about it. You can only make these eight long because of the water collection. Well, no. 
I could actually keep them this long. And then I would just have to move the hopper to the center. Which isn't like the worst thing in the world. I don't know. Uh, let's let's just go ahead and pull it back a little bit. It's not gonna kill me. We will make it work. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Uh, do I have any observers? I just want one just to see if this is actually gonna work. I don't. Well, darn. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I think I remember where I put it. My redstone box. I might be able to go get it. <laughs> I'm not going to ban you for saying it's uh, spicy. Don't worry. You're safe here for now. <laughs> Speaking of music, the new Tyler, the creator album is great. I wasn't a fan, but I might be now. I'll have to check that out soon then. I'm, I've, I've been enjoying music a lot lately. Um, I, I'm, I'm really hyped for the new Linkin Park album coming out. I can't wait. I'm, <laughs> I, I am so ready, but, uh, that's coming out soon. Uh, I've just been enjoying music again, listening to it, playing it. Um, all those things. And I'm getting ready to start back up with some music production, so that streams sound fantastic. I've been watching a lot of streams lately, and that's one thing I know I'm missing is, like, music. Uh, I, I would like to produce all my own music, though, if I can. I think that would be sick. So I'm going to try to get an hour's worth of music thrown together. And... um. I'd like to use that for my streams. Uh, an hour is a lot, but if I could do an hour, that way it's only repeating like five times a stream, so you're not going to get annoyed by all the music. And then on top of that, I can even add tracks later on too, so it will it'll be good. Hopper. Okay, we'll put that away. Take the bucket and the redstone. We'll take the head. <laughs> we'll just clean out this chest. And uh, we can clean out this one too. Okay. Uh... King, do you know why I was banned from Ants Chat? I wasn't making an uwu bit uh, and saying instead of uwu, I got banned. No clue if this was intentional. Uh, it it looked like you said a different word. That's why. Um, <laughs> that is that is exactly why. I was not a fan, but I might be now. Dang, I guess you could say we forgot about Dre. <laughs> So I'm so crazy for what I'm doing. It reminds me of Death of Some Shady. It's a movie more than an album. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna have to check it out then. Okay, ads are about to start playing, so I will be back in just a couple of minutes. So sit tight. Uh, while ads are playing, I'm not gonna be doing anything. So go get yourself some snacks. Go use the bathroom. Get some water. Any of those things. But I'll see you then.
All right, I'm back, back again. How's it going, everybody? Okay, let me just catch up here. What are you guys saying? Um, Death of Slim Shady is a conceptual al al album. I don't want to get banned for saying it in retrospective. It would be better than, yeah. <laughs> it would have been so much better than what you said. Because in context of what you were saying, it it made it sound like you were talking about something else. Um, I feel like Slim, uh, y'all remember Slim? Go back and listen again, because I'm telling you punks, I'm not going to replace him, but I swear to God, I feel like him. Dang. Bars. Bars. <laughs> Something I've been doing recently, I don't know if you guys have noticed, and this time you probably did because I, I messed up. Uh, whenever I go to the Be Right Back screen, uh, I, I have been forcing Minecraft to play music uh, by doing slash play sound and then finding whatever track I want it to play. Uh, this time I did it, but I realized my music was off. And so I had to... I had to uh, swap to um the settings screen which you guys probably heard me click a couple of things to turn back up the music but uh, it, it is it is working again <laughs> and uh now you guys i think this was deep dark music i i i don't remember what i pressed exactly i just saw music I was like yep that's the one we're going downstairs Got some water, I ate a quick little piece of chocolate, cause I'm my body is not doing too hot right now. I I I I'm assuming it's probably just nutrients. I don't know what's been going on, but lately my body has just not been it, it I don't have an appetite. I say my body, it's me. I'm the problem. Uh let's not pretend that it's any other way there. I'm the problem. But my appetite's just not there. And, um... So I've been trying to fix that, but it's just not been working. So I've only been eating, like, one meal the past couple of days, which is not healthy. Um, which I, I'm aware of. So don't, don't yell at me, please. Uh, but... I, I am trying to fix it. <laughs> I promise. Uh, I want to make couple of observers now if I can. Uh, we're gonna need, let's see, if it's 8, then we're doing um, 64. We'll just do 8. 8 of these, so... Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to remember how you place these. Okay, so you place it the way you want it to observe. So if I placed it... Actually, gotta be right here. Okay. So it's gonna observe those. And then, if I'm not mistaken, I can take an output just like that. And. Do that. Okay. Sweet. Now, uh, I need more blocks. Let me go, let me go grab some more of these. There we go. We need to lay out some stuff as well. Hang on. Uh, let's put down those. And where's my... Frog lights. Okay. I need to make sure I keep this stuff lit up. Otherwise, it's just gonna get a mess. Okay. Alright. So theoretically, if I'm gonna do this right, I think all I've gotta do... I don't know if I have enough. We'll see. That's one, two, three, four... Well, hang on. We don't have to do it this way. We could, we could go up. 
That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think that is the perfect amount, actually. So what you should notice is when I place the sugar cane down, all of them should extend. None of them extended. Does it not work that way anymore? Uh, okay. Crap. <laughs> um, okay. Does it work if I send them all up one? There we go. Okay, and just to be sure, does this block move? Yes. Okay, sweet. That is working. That's good, that's good, that's good. So we just gotta do that again, but on the other side. <laughs> uh, what are you playing Wednesday? Uh, what's Wednesday? Wednesday is... Hang on. Uh, what day is Wednesday? I know it's Wednesday, but it's uh, the 30th. I don't have it marked on my calendar. So, um, I don't, I don't know. I probably planned something. I don't, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I, I don't, I, I usually decide the day of what I'm doing, so. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see, we need to do this, and then what I'm supposed to do, I guess, is I'm supposed to do this, and then, okay. So then you're supposed to go with iron bars, is it? And you go iron bars just across there? Okay. Uh, do iron. Where's the iron? There's a little bit. I need more though. There we go. Okay, sweet. Boop. Uh, go ahead and make a little bit more. And throw in the nether quartz and the iron. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> okay. So I think if I did this right, this will work. And if it does, I will be a very, very happy man. Okay. Boom. Okay. 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 Um... Only thing I think I can do at this point is get more... Get more sugar cane. Every time it's attempting to grow, if I'm not mistaken, it's updating, and so it updates the uh, observer. So until it eventually does grow, then then it'll be fine. But it, it hasn't tried yet, I don't think. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can actually put more blocks throughout here if we need to, but for now this is fine. Uh, what we're going to do is go home. I'm gonna go get more, more sugar cane if we have it. We do, yes. Okay, it's about time that I get a sugar cane farm. Okay, this is this is a huge W for me. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize I had all this saved up. Look at me, I am a genius. Okay. Uh, I'd wish someone would play Lethal with me. Maybe Gus would be down. Well, never mind. He's streaming Wednesday. Is Gus streaming Wednesday? I, I haven't I haven't kept up with his calendar. He is... Oh, yeah. Wacky Wednesday. Right. That that would make sense. Um, hold on. I'm back. A. Hey, welcome back, Sammy. I Sam... <laughs> Sammy, I can't spell... Uh, stroke a moment. We're we're not on on uh. It's not uncommon to have a stroke in these parts. <laughs> okay, uh, so I could just sit here and wait for the it all to grow, but I think it's working, so we'll just let it be. Um. 
So then we can put our next layer up, I think. Which would be right here, I think. Because, yeah, that gives you full length for three. If for some reason you get up to three, then you're going to want it. Okay. And then what you're going to do... I can remember to do this right. It's like this. I'm out of blocks. No. <laughs> uh, do I have any cobblestone? No. Okay. Let me put away all my dirt and just dump everything in here. Okay. Uh, now slash home village, and I'll just slash back there. <laughs> Is this like cheating? Yes, but everybody else can do it, sort of. So it's fair. Um, I sort of finished the lore book, plus a gift for you. A gift? Give me one second. Let me quickly grab my, um, my cobblestone. But I will, I will come and pick up that gift in a minute. Um, let's see. Down this way. And... Boom. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're good now. Slash. Back. And then let me dump some of this in here. And in here. Just so I can hold the gif if I need to. Slash. Oh wait, I, I don't have to do a command. I just accept. Good. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're here. Okay. I completely misread that. Okay. You are amazing. <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> oh, and the honey bottles too. You're gonna you're taking good care of me, jeez. And a book, okay. Crystallization, a lore book by Sammy. Crystallization is a type of infection the user or host, in other words, is something you have to be born with. It shows zero signs during early child ages. However, child may feel itchy and sore in places where crystallization will start. At age 4, the crystallization will start where it was sore. It will start to show it starting. It can no longer be stopped. Don't try. It'll risk their mortality. The crystallization in extremely rare occasions will immediately take control of its host. It will continue to grow around the areas being held back by potions. It'll be a smooth ride until teenage years. During teenage years, it'll be way stronger than before and may make it hurt if it touched. It is more common for it to fully cover after teenage years. The host may start to get itchy and get harmed in the crystal areas. Blank page. <laughs> Although it is described as a disease, it cannot spread to other people, only animals. However, with animals, it will fully corrupt after two days. It is not painful for them to do... Uh, it is not painful, so do not worry about it. Being animal, cr do not worry about it being animal cruelty. There's multiple different colors that may occur, such as purple, red, cyan, and white. There is many, there's many colors, but they end up killing the host eventually. You may be asking what happens to the host when it fully corrupts them. Well, they become a full crystal statue. If touched in the place where the crystallization started, they will switch with the person. Immediately fully corrupting, and the original host will become a regular human again. Wow. That's a big book. <laughs> that, is, that is a big book, Sammy. You, you've been busy. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll be AFK. Lurk. Thank you for Lurk. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Um, I may be... Dyslexic is what I'm slowly realizing in some of those places in this book. It's okay. It's okay. I'm I'm kind of dyslexic too, so <laughs> no no shame in it. Um, do I have? I do. Okay. By the way, Morse said you cannot hide and you cannot run. I didn't even catch that. That was Morse. Oh, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I saw it down there. I was like, okay. 
uh interesting and then i moved on but i should have caught on that 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 definitely wasn't normal <laughs> oh jeez okay uh be putting those there okay And then we're going to go up and over like this. And like this. I think, if I'm not mistaken, you can place water on top of the rails. Or <laughs> rails. The uh, thingy here. Uh, the iron bar, right. There we go. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and do the iron bars right here as well. Uh, yes, I used a Morse translator on my phone, and one by one tried to correct note it down by the book. Yes, my hands hurt. I believe it. I, I believe it. It is, um... It is... N Morse code is not easy, okay? <laughs> I... Especially when it comes to things like, um... Like Minecraft. Minecraft is just hard to write anything in a book, <laughs> but Morse code especially can be tough. Why not? I didn't. Okay. There we go. Go up like this. And then, okay, how does this look, or work for that matter? We can't actually place the stuff, now that I'm thinking about it, the um, sugar cane, because we need to, yeah, the thing, <laughs> the bucket, the bucket of water, there we go. We need to make a water source. Let me go get some water. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm going to go check on some random stuff to work and head to bed. Uh, see you next stream, hopefully, King. Alright, good night, Sammy. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here, and I hope you get some rest tonight. We're just going to keep working on this uh, sugarcane farm, and hopefully before long, it'll be done. And then we can work on a creeper farm. Okay. So if I come up here... Oh. Okay. So if you do that, right? It's been a while since I built this, so you're going to have to forgive me if it's not working first try. Um, hey, welcome back, Spicy. So, if I'm right, if I'm right. It should, it should be growing. Um, how long on average does it take for one piece of sugar cane to grow? That's the question. Um, how long does it take for one sugar cane to grow? Okay, in, in Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, one block in height every 18 minutes on average, or every 16 random ticks. So about every 18 minutes or so, I guess. 
Um, okay. Um, I'm sure it's fine. It's not been 18 minutes yet, so it'll be okay. Um, what we do need to do is see if we're if we're doing 64. That is 1632, right? Yeah. So if we do two more right there, that would be 64. I might actually move it over to there, though, just because it would be a little bit more convenient, is all. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, did you know I was going to release a surprise song, but then two streams ago, Kit said something that stopped both of the albums? I I was there for that part, I think, about what she said anyway. But um, if you want to remind me, I kind of forget like everything that happened there. It's hard. I, I pay... I don't pay very much attention, unfortunately. Uh to what's going on in the stream itself because usually I'm so busy making sure that everybody's behaving so I'm watching chat like a hawk instead of and just enjoying the stream every once in a while I'll tune back in and listen and go okay yeah um yeah I like that idea let you, you should do that <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh oh. How do you can I ah crap. <laughs> ah no. Okay. Right. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, right. Well, you may think it was the violence because it was near that time. Uh, that's kind of what I was... Maybe? Maybe? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm going to be dead honest. I don't remember much of that stream. I remember she was walking around her hardcore world, and then the stream kept buffering and lagging out. And while that was while she was trying to explain it. So I vaguely remember things being said, but that's about it. One, one. Okay. But it was about Adderall. I put a line in there and she announced she was starting Adderall tomorrow and I felt awful, so I pulled both albums. Oh, okay. There's nothing wrong with Adderall. Um, I mean, she's actually kind of hyped about it, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it is it is Adderall, so <laughs> you know how it's made. There might be some reason to be hype about it, but um, it's kind of weird to use hype next to Adderall when it's like uh, when it's for ADHD and it's kind of to help like focus because hype is like the least focused thing ever but um <laughs> it feels interesting to say it that way that's for sure okay okay um hello coral how's it going i know i was glazing her for not hyping it and she low-key did so now i just I uh, just don't know how to move on from that. That's fair. Yes, it's working! Yes! Okay, I'm sorry, I got a little too excited. How's it going, Coral? It's good to see you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. 
Oh, I already put that down. Okay. I'm good. What about you? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Kind of tired, but I'm I'm here. I'm chilling. Uh, just building up a sugarcane farm because I've been playing on this world for almost three years, and we I've never built one. Uh, not on this world anyway. And I was like, yeah, it's about it's about time. Uh, I heard it go off again. It, it scared me for a second. Also, thank you for submitting your taxes. It's much appreciated. I never do that when I join stream. That's fair. That, that is fair. I forget to do it sometimes. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys watch her, but Charcoal. I usually watch her whenever she's streaming because it's always late at night, and so I'm I'm usually awake and getting ready for bed or starting to get ready for bed. Um. So I usually watch her for a little bit, but I, I usually forget to redeem my, uh, I think she calls them daily gems there. And uh, I always, I almost always forget to redeem them until somebody else does it. But once they do, I'm usually okay. I just, I usually forget until then. Okay. I need to go home and get some potatoes. I have got my potatoes. We're going back. <laughs> Alright. Um, I ain't comfortable with glorifying pills that I needed or romanticizing demons I already defeated. I don't know. That could be me, though. That's fair. To some people, you know, it's okay, and some people it's not. That's fair. You know, you do what you're comfortable with at the end of the day, and you can't go wrong with that. Okay. Boom. Okay. I'm happy with how this is coming out so far. Uh, we only have enough for one of those, which isn't great, but it's gonna be okay. So we need to do... See if I can do this right. And then dirt. Okay, and then more dirt. And water bucket. <laughs> uh, this is so easy. This is so, so easy. I love this farm. Um, I feel like I could put a stupid kid into prison if I say the right things again. I could be ma uh, I could be making way too big of a deal about this. I'd like your wisdom, though. Truth of the matter is, um, and this, this is a lesson that's hard to learn. It's hard for me to learn, even. At the end of the day, what other people do in response to what you say is up to them. And yeah, it sucks. Because you don't want to be held responsible for what they do. But, or you feel responsible for what they do. But, at some point in time, you do have to draw a line and say, okay, this is getting kind of silly. I can't, I can't say or do anything without people taking me seriously. For example, like... Um, for example, I, I make a lot of sexist and misogynistic jokes. I don't actually believe women belong in the kitchen. In fact, there are some women who do not belong in the kitchen, okay? There are some who, who could not cook to save their life, and there's nothing wrong with that. It would be wrong of me, though, to say that and, um... And then, you know, 
believe it, but I there that's the difference. I don't believe it truly. I, and I, I try to make it clear I'm joking. I don't actually mean what I'm saying, and I feel like you've done a good job of that, Spicy, where it's like you're, especially with your diss track, you said like, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not being serious. This is all just for fun. You know, I'm not, I don't actually hate them. You've said that kind of stuff. So I feel like you've done your due diligence in that regard. And so I think, you know, as long as you feel like you've, you've done the job that you need to do to make sure that people understand your stance, you're okay. Uh, another example is I think Eminem, he makes a lot of really awful and disgusting um, claims in his songs. And, like, I like his music. But believe it or not, I mean, I, I can't say I've talked to him, but I'm pretty sure I've heard him say several times over, he, is, he doesn't hate gay people. <laughs> so just because he says things that make it sound like he does, he's just messing around, he's just playing. And you can, you can say what you want about those lyrics, whether they're right or they're wrong. But the more so the point is, he's done his due diligence in saying, like, I don't condone people hating on you, you know. Um, there we go. Agreed, I belong in the kitchen. I, I saw those brownies, dude. I saw those brownies. They look kind of good. Uh, the first time I tried to cook, I was 10. I wasn't really cooking. Uh, I was making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I accidentally put jelly on both sides of the bread. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. <laughs> that is, that is truly incredible. I, I cannot cook, but I'd like to. I would like to. Um... But, you know, I, I... I, I have no room to say whether somebody belongs in the kitchen or not just because of that alone. I have no idea what all goes into cooking. Uh, well, I have some idea. I, I have cooked a little bit here and there. But, um... Let's see. Yeah, we're good here. Uh, let me just go ahead and push this out really quick just to fix it. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, cooking. Uh, but I would like to cook, and I would like to, um, you know, cook with my wife one day. I think that would be fun. Uh, especially baking. Baking sounds like a joyous experience for a couple, I'm just saying. I don't know why I don't see that modeled more often. <laughs> um, hey King, hey lady, how's it going? It's good to see you. Hope you, uh, hope you enjoy your lurk. And, uh, oh, couches, new couches, that's exciting. We just got new couches this year in my house, and, um, my parents, my parents love them. Okay, let's do that. What I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to drop him off the edge. Um, okay. Oh, I can't get up. Hang on. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, I cook sometimes, but I suck at it. It's a skill that takes a long time to learn, but I hear, I hear, like, you start to get better at it, like, progressively, so, like, it starts compounding on itself. You know, once you start understanding a lot of the fundamentals of how things should go together and uh, understanding temperatures and cook times and whatnot, it starts to, it starts to make sense. Okay, I need one of those. Come down really quick. Okay. Theoretically, this will work. Hopefully. Okay. 
And then what I want to do... Okay, yeah, so that one's there. Then I want to grab this one. Oop. This one. And then I want to put it here. Um... Okay, let me just watch where it drops it. It's putting it right about there in the middle. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to... Let's see, I, I guess I need to drop it in, like, right here. Yeah, okay. Uh, again, I do feel like, because I have been addicted to things, and that's why I fell off Twitch. That's fair, dude. If you... It, it, it's one of those things, like, as somebody, like... It, you're speaking as somebody who's been through some forms of addiction, and I'm not going to pry into that. But, um, you know, if you've been through stuff, and you don't want to, like, you don't feel comfortable talking about it, there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Um, and if you feel like it might lead some people astray to falling into those other um, addictions, then... You know, you you should you should do your best to you know help people stay away from it. At least that's what I would say. Um, building furniture, testing your relationship. Yes, <laughs> that was a masterpiece. What was a masterpiece? I I I don't remember what you said you were gonna go do if I'm honest. Um Can I get like something to cover that up with? Let's make some stairs. Album okay, gotcha, gotcha. I'm glad you liked it, that's good. I'll have to listen to it or something soon. And, uh, maybe I can give my opinions on it. We'll see. Okay. There we go. So this, this should be working now, I guess. Hopefully. And we should be getting plenty of sugarcane. Um. So I'll just let that sit for now. And luckily it's within the area that I've been building in, so it'll also be running for a good while too. And once I need to AFK it, obviously, like that's gonna be an it's gonna be its own issue, but it's not gonna be like that big of an issue either. Okay. Also got a pretty good build started. Nice. I know you've been struggling a little bit on building and you know, getting getting the ball rolling again, creatively speaking. Um how's that going for you, by the way? His brownies were a fail, a delicious fail, but a fail. They looked good. That's all I can say, dude. I I love brownies. I love brownies so much. Um I just like sweets. I I really do. I, I'm not a huge fan of them right now because I've been eating cake for like the past week. Um we had like forty pieces of cake in our fridge. And I I, I guess, I, I don't know if I've told you guys the full story on that. Pastor Appreciation Month uh, in, in my church. My dad's the pastor, for those of you who don't know. And um, they decided to host a dinner for us. And they gave us, like, two cakes. Two whole cakes. And we ate it at the dinner with everybody there, with the hopes that we weren't going to have to take home a bunch. However, there was a lot left over. There was about 40 pieces from what I estimated. And me and my older brother have been eating it. I've been eating it every single night, and he's been eating a couple pieces. He would take them with him to work. So I've ate something like 30, 35 slices and he ate the rest. Um, there's still like a couple more down there, I think. So, I think there's one more slice, maybe two. Um, 
But yeah, no, I'm... <laughs> I'm dreading it. I'm dreading the final piece, because it's like, man, I... I love cake. I really do. It, it is so good. It's it's very good. But... Uh, he, once you have enough, you've had enough. That's needless to say, I think. Okay, so I need to figure out how I want to do this. Do I want to make it automatically craft rockets for me or no? See, what I'm kind of thinking is maybe it wouldn't be that big of a deal for me to just make it myself, honestly. It'll be fine. Okay. So we need to find a place for the creeper farm, which I vaguely remember how to make those, too. Um... Hmm. Sorry, hiccups. Okay. Uh, it's not me. It is something I worry about other people because it goes from fun to hate yourself, then you kind of disappear and it sucks. Oh, addictions? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I've got I've got a lot of buddies who have been addicted to all sorts of things. Uh, the hardest part they say is not necessarily quitting it's the process while you're quitting where it's just like dude <laughs> it sucks like all every moment of it you're like man i hate myself for allowing me to fall into this i hate myself for that i hate myself for this and then you fall into this this depressive episode and if you get stressed out or anxious easily then you relapse and then if you relapse um, then you go back into hating yourself more. Uh, it, it is a never-ending cycle. Well, it's not a never-ending cycle. You can, you can get out of it. It's just really, really hard. Um, it's really, really, really hard, actually. Um, words don't describe how tough it is, I, I suppose. But, um... You know, I, I, I think, I think it's good on you for being aware of that, though, Spicy. Uh, the album that Swifty was talking about was the one from Tyler, the creator, I think. Brownies dried up because I didn't wrap them, so they dried out. Oh, I actually like dried out brownies, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I do find them kind of enjoyable. Um, just fill this in really quick. Just gotta hide everything a little, a little tiny bit. Plus, it'll help keep the sugar cane in the boundaries and not falling down. Okay. I'll just kind of cap it off a little bit here so I don't accidentally fall in. Uh, I'm out of blocks, that's okay. I will also just do that, just in case I need it in there. Okay. I love cake, but I can't eat it. Ooh. Are you, uh... Lactose intolerant by chance, uh, Coral? If you don't mind me asking. I, I have a lot of friends in that camp, too. I... I could... I could never. I... Mad respect to anybody who can make their way through life like that. Hey, Tony, welcome on in. No, I'm allergic to a protein and butter. Oh, that's got to be really difficult. Okay. Wow. Well, wow, okay. Um, give me 
those and those. Uh, how you been? I've been all right. I'm, uh, I'm just, just carefully making my way through, uh, building this, uh, farm. And, uh, we're just kind of chatting about different topics and whatnot. I don't know if I can get over there. Um, darn. Hang on. Uh. Okay. Oop, not there. There we go. Uh, I got high through my best years, got sober, then I relapsed the thing, and I cleaned up, got my head clear, which Gus is amazing, because I started talking to him shortly after I burned all my bridges with IRL friends, and he helped me feel human again. Gus is amazing, dudes. I, I am... I am beyond serious there. Gus is amazing. I uh, he he actually cares. That's that's the thing I really appreciate about Gus. He he's not he's not going to sugarcoat everything either. Like he'll just he'll tell you what he really thinks, what he really means and he'll be he'll he'll keep it real with you. Now, he will bully you. He will bully you so hard. Um, every time I get a message from him, it's usually him bullying me, but, I uh, he's, he's a really good guy. It's quite rough with foods. I'd imagine so. I mean, butter is in, like, practically everything, so it definitely can be, definitely can be quite tough to, to get around, uh, around it. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think. So I've got this. That that should all be set up. I guess we need to build like a little bit of a pit to work with here. Uh, not like a pit pit, but like a pit. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but we're making a pit. Um, probably about that height, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Like he says, I don't know about that when I try to glaze them, and the, that's why I am working on my gang. I'm trying to show my gratitude towards you. I appreciate it. I, you know, I, I appreciate the thought more than anything. Um, that's, that's really my honest truth, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I don't, I don't do this because I want to be like noticed or appreciated or anything but when people do notice and people do appreciate it, it does mean something so you know thank you I might be doing something more here soon we'll see okay that that should have us there I think for now so we need to build like a creeper farm somewhere, and then we'll transport through uh, over here, I think. Um, I'm trying to remember how they do the uh, creeper farm now I'm thinking about it. I know you do it with cats, so we should probably go get some cats first. And now I'm thinking about it, I don't know if I have any cats anywhere. Um, slash homes. I do have a cat outpost. I might have to go there. Or cow, cat home, sorry. Um, I'm thinking about rewatching Young Sheldon. Uh, I've, I've always heard that show's a good show. I've, I've watched, like, a couple of episodes here and there. I've, I've enjoyed it for what I've seen. So, probably definitely, I would, I would say it's definitely worth a rewatch. I heard the last season was really good.
Um, I've said it multiple times, whether y'all get inflamed online or crap goes down IRL, I've got y'all's back. I appreciate it. I, I, I appreciate that, you know. It's hard to find people like that, though, you know. It, it's, um... Usually when things come around, people are like, oh, yeah. I got your back, I got your back, and then once once something actually does happen, they freeze, they don't know what they're doing, and they unintentionally, I think, I don't think people intentionally do this, but they, they because they're so scared to do something wrong, they do nothing at all and they disappear on you. And uh, it, it sucks, it sucks, but it does happen a lot too. Are you my grandpa? <laughs> Oh no. Not your grandma, not again. <laughs> Let me think. What were we looking for? Uh fish. I was looking for fish, which I know for a fact I I don't have any fish. So I should probably make a fishing rod and go ahead and get some. Uh, wait, 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 wait. One, two. Okay. Uh, sticks. Uh. Let me just chop down this tree here. Okay. And boom. Sweet. Uh, like, I shoot. I I have no idea who that is, but okay. I I I'm assuming I'm assuming that's like a really nice gesture though that you just said. So I appreciate it. Okay, I don't have Who's that? I... I... I don't know who this guy is, I'm gonna be honest. Ah, voluntary manslaughter, nice. <laughs> That's a good charge. <laughs> So, okay, gotcha. I think I think I've got like a general idea of what you mean there by that. Then, okay. Also, I need to go back home. Um, what am I looking at? Uh, lapis, right? Where's all my lapis going? Because I'm not turning it all into dye. But for some reason I'm noticing that I'm I'm always having to come back and craft the blocks into lapis. Slash home village. I'd take on the mafia if things went down. I don't know if that's a wise idea, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I, I I don't know if that's a wise idea, but I appreciate the thought. Truth of the matter is, I I know for a fact. Um, I know for a fact there's a good chance I'm gonna make, or have made a lot of prominent people mad. So it's only a matter of time till like one day eventually it happens. But like, you know, I I don't expect anybody to. To save me from that, I I've I I have invited them to my house intentionally. <laughs> they can't they can't stop me though. I've got I've got pew pews for days. Well, 
ammunition for days. You don't need a pew pews for days, really. I mean, you can only carry so many guns. <laughs> Okay, uh, not wise, but taking a bullet is not wise. I'd still do it, though. See, everybody says that they'll take a bullet for somebody, but I'm going to say, I'm going to ask you guys to do something even harder, okay? I'm going to ask you guys to do something even harder. If it came down to it, between taking a bullet for me or not, don't do it. Okay? <laughs> And I'll tell you why. Because it's going to be like, wow, King, you're telling us that we can't do that. It's much harder to live for somebody than it is to die for somebody. So if you really, if you really want to, if you really want to do something for me, then live. Live for me. Because the truth of the matter is, if somebody's going to try to kill me, if somebody's gonna try to kill me, it's just gonna happen again. This goes for in video games too, but I was also talking about just real life in general. Uh, I could attach that on here. The mending would be nice. So does that mean I can carry on your legacy? I Okay, hypothetically, if I were to die, everybody gets to carry on my legacy in some regard, because I've been a part of you guys in some way, shape, or form. Just like you guys have been in some way, shape, or form a part of me. So, I don't think the legacy necessarily goes to just one person. Like, some people might get it a little bit more than me, sure. But, or a, a little bit more than you. But that's just because, like, oh yeah, that's my son or whatever. So it's like, it's kind of like Technoblade, for example. His legacy far out extends himself. Like, yeah, there's not one person that you could point to and say, that's the heir of the throne to Technoblade. But you can definitely point to people that he's influenced and say, man, I see a lot of Technoblade in you. And um, I think that's also a pretty interesting thing. Also, I'm going to fish through the uh, ad break this time around. So please sit tight. Enjoy uh, some water. Go get some water. Get some snacks, and we'll see you guys soon. Uh, let's see. True, I haven't done crap to be a part of you. All you've done, I, I, dude. <laughs> you, you are here in some of the most boring streams known to man. I don't, I don't know what you mean. You sit through some of the most boring things to talk to me, so I appreciate it. If any of you have pressed even the follow button you have you have gained a place in in my life in some way shape or form fishing i am fishing i have to uh tame some cats for a creeper farm we're just gonna sit here for a little bit because i do anything for you i'm not a simp i am the simp I don't know, man. I don't know. I I asked Gus uh, if I was a simp, and uh, here let me let me see if I can pull up our DMs here. I don't know if Gus is here or not, but I might be. I might say some things that he doesn't want out, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, let's see. What did he, What did he say? Um. Gus just roasts me, okay? <laughs> uh, where is it? Okay. Maybe. Hang on. <laughs> he said that... Um, I'm not a simp because of my financial status, which is just hurtful, uh, but, um, but then he'd say, um, if you were a simp, you'd be giving at least 10% of your money, uh, which, 
is kind of hurtful, but like I guess it kind of makes sense to some degree. I am the simp for King Ragnog, PC Gus, Anthony Live, and Kitrix Live. Dang. Pick one, dude. Just pick one. You gotta save some... <laughs> you gotta save some streamers for the rest of us, dude. What the heck? Um... And then, oh, okay, no, hang on, I forgot about this. He just straight up called me a simp afterwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even think that one was a joke either. Dang. I'm offended, okay? I'm offended. See, that's the thing. I've got people that are telling me I am, and I've got people telling me I'm not. ChatGPT thinks I am. Okay, I, I don't think I've told the story here yet. Have I told the story of why it's bothering me that I, that, of, of whether or not I'm a simp? Uh, let me, let me go ahead and say it. Um, so I was modding for Kit. And I was sitting there in her YouTube chat, just being a good mod, you know? I was there. I feel like that's a pretty good step, you know? And this guy joins. I won't out him yet, but I'll, I'll out him soon, eventually, maybe. But I'm sitting there, and he, he types in YouTube chat, and he goes, Hello. I'm like, Hi, how's it going? He goes, Yo, Greg, you're here. I'm like, Yeah. He goes... Are you always here? And Kit says, yes. This man, he has the audacity to say, are you simping for her or something? And I'm like, what? That's, that's insane. Like, just because I'm here all the time. And he's like, yeah, you're here all the time. Like, you have no life. And it bugs me. It bugs me so much. And I don't know why. It's just one guy that made one silly little comment. But it bugs me. <laughs> it bugs me so much. <laughs> uh, I'm a slight simp. I'm not an intense simp. I have a cutoff. That's fair. Why is Bernie Sanders live on Twitch? Uh, I don't know. They've been really hitting the Twitch. Uh... The, the Twitch streams lately. I don't know why. Um, they must have done some demographic research or something. If you deserve it, you're getting the simp treatment from Spicy Wheat Peppers. Dang. No, because you ain't got women. Oh, never mind. Bro, what? I... <laughs> what? She's 12? Yes. See... That's what I tell people, but then they're like, well, that might not stop you. I'm like, bruh. I try... I try to joke around with people when they do that, but sometimes I worry that they're being dead serious. Um, Let's see, you're a mod, that's your job. Now, if you weren't a mod, you would be a simp. <laughs> see... That's the thing, though. Before I was a mod, I was still showing up for every stream. But, I mean, I wasn't there... To be fair... I wasn't there very long before I had mod. So... I don't know. It's tough. I... <laughs> it just bugs me. It bugs me. <laughs> It, like, has been eating away at my soul the past couple of days, to the point where I've almost even just messaged Kit and going, Am I a simp? Tell me. Because if I am, then I will live with it, but I am denying it until the day that I am told otherwise. Did I just get, like, a mending book? That would have been amazing had I gotten a mending book. <laughs> um, Next time Sam, a mod, I have a good reason. Spicy Wheat Peppers is here more than me, and he ain't got mod. <laughs> Why, because you're a Minecraft YouTuber? Yes. People... Hmm. That's another thing. Don't get me started on that. 
Anytime I mention I'm a Minecraft YouTuber, people are like, oh, ha, 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 let me tell you that one joke. Oh, I want to shoot myself so badly. They have no idea how close to the edge it is. <laughs> but I'm close to the edge. <laughs> uh, the people saying I'm the... Uh, like, or like multiplying, like at least 10 people say I like kids' wives because I'm a Minecraft YouTuber and that's the stereotype. It happens so often. It happens so much. Kids a Minecraft YouTuber here, so I'm not alone. You're, you're not alone, Swifty. You're not alone. Like, it's fine to make a one off joke every once in a while, but every time I turn around, it's like, ah. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Have you really thought about when Minecraft is set? Uh, I've kind of thought about it a little bit. I'm not entirely certain, to be honest. Like, there's elements of everything there that's kind of like... It would point... To me, it more so points towards, like, the medieval kind of time period. Late in medieval more so, I think. But in other points, it could also be early game... Or early, early medieval stages. Because, I mean, they, they had some types of guns in those early days. They just weren't very good. Um, but I would say... It could even be post-apocalyptic. Takes place at the beginning of Earth. Nothing is gone. Well, th I mean... It's just you and the animals? Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say it just takes place at the beginning. You are Adam. That would make sense to some degree, but I think at the same time it doesn't make sense because the monsters and such. So you'd have to... It'd have to be... I don't know. I, I, I would say it actually more likely is post-apocalyptic. Post-apocalyptic medieval. That's what it is. Because there's no tech... There, there is technology. There, and we have had evidence to some degree that um, some of these early civilizations had had discovered some amount of electricity and stuff. And so that's how you can explain redstone, is it's kind of like that early primitive electricity. Um, engineering has been around since the beginning of time, pretty much. Uh, it's just once we figured out how to, um, how to use, like, electric to make that stuff work is when things got really interesting. Um, but, uh, I mean, you can look up, like, ancient batteries, and they've, they've got some stuff out there that you could look into. Um, it's interesting. It's really, really interesting stuff. So I would say it's probably post-apocalyptic medieval setting. I think. That's what I would say. Anyway, because, um, like, that's the other thing. Like, when you're in that medieval time period of, you know, thing. Like I said, they did have guns to some degree. They just weren't very good. But you don't have those in Minecraft. So it has to be early enough for it to not have made an appearance, a prevalent appearance, but late enough that you have access to some of the primitive electricities and stuff. Thank you for Lurk Spicy. I appreciate it. You're one of the last of us. I mean, all right. Enjoy, enjoy the dinner. Um, Redstone kind of shows they are they had somewhat a concept of electricity. I do see how it's post apocalyptic because of all the rundown structures you can find. Yeah, and there's not very much in terms of civilizations you find. Like you run into, you know, villagers every once in a while, but they're so primitive. Um, so it's like. They don't have much. You do run into a lot of rundown structures like mine shafts and um, uh, strongholds and whatnot. Uh, you know, and, and like even like the more recent introductions of weapons and stuff definitely point to it being an earlier time period 
uh, as well, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, crossbows were added in 1.14, and uh, the mace was added just recently in 1.21, uh, both of which are uh, definitely older weapons. Definitely older weapons. Um, I'm hoping they kind of lean more into their magic that they have in the game. Potions aren't really magic, uh, sort of, in this game. At least from what I've noticed. Like, it's sort of magic, but the way it presents itself isn't really magic, per se. Um, it's more so science, which is interesting, because it's like, okay... A rabbit's foot is going to make you jump higher because rabbits jump high. So in the Minecraft universe, it's just the lore that my, that as long as you got a rabbit's foot, you can jump high, basically. So boiling that in some hot water gives you the juices, the essence, if you will, of the rabbit's foot. And then you can jump high because of it. Um, so I, I think... It's interesting. Their magic really doesn't exist. Enchantments is probably the closest thing they have to any sort of magic. Um, and that's like something the villagers know very well, I guess, if you look in lore. Because, I mean, they sell you books. Uh, the cleric just knows how to make... Uh, sells you different potion ingredients. Um... But none of them have any redstone capabilities, as far as I'm aware. I guess, like, uh, Illagers, they they have some magic properties. Uh, the Evoker, especially. Uh, or more so just the Evoker, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, do I need to respond to that? No. Okay. Uh... What am I doing? Right, fish. We were fishing for a cat. Redstone isn't in any above ground structures though. True. It's only present in below. Yeah, let's see. So it's in... Let me think. You have it in the deep dark because of a couple of small rooms here and there. Uh, you have it in... Where all do you get it? Now Now I'm thinking about it. I actually don't... I actually don't know. Maybe the Ancient Cities is more of a lab area showing it was being developed and not really accessible to the public. Possibly. There's a whole lot of uncovered lore to do with the Deep Darts just because... It's so new, and they haven't fully implemented everything yet. Um, that is, if it is going to contain a portal. The portal will give you the rest of the lore. Um, that's the thing, though. We don't, we don't have the portal yet. So it's, it's kind of a huge gap missing there. Jungle Temple has it, which is odd to me. Yeah. The Jungle Temple does have it. I kind of forgot about that. Um, not seeing any cats down here. I'm trying to remember how cats spawn. They spawn in villages, don't they? Or they have a chance of spawning in villages anyway? I know I could teleport to my one village that has it, but, like, that's so far away. Although, well, no, I don't have... We haven't updated to the newest version yet. I need to start looking into it and seeing if we can update to the new update for bundles. Um... But, uh, I was gonna say, if I throw a ender pearl up in the air, it would tick the chunk while I was teleporting, so the cats would still teleport to me. Because that's why they don't teleport to you when you teleport all the time. 
Uh, it's because the um, it's because the chunk stops loading, so they the AI quits as well. Um, feel redstone may be magic more of because it can be found in mansions and the church building and villages, which hints at magic. I don't really see potions as magic, though, is the thing. Uh, which is really what the church building of villages tends to have, is like the brewing stand. Um, well, I can see like the mansions definitely having a magical influence on it. Potions make more sense scientific-wise, because it's just boiling some stuff in a water and then consuming it for its properties. Which is like what we would say is like, oh yeah, that's magical potion making, but I mean, at the same time, at the same time, I'm, it, it seems to be just like something that was trial and error to me. Uh, potions have magical abilities though, like invisibility. Yeah, but... That's the thing. It doesn't take a, like, a proper... I don't know. I, I guess the way I view magic is, like, it's mystical. But there's, like, nothing mystical about... about potions, because... it makes... it's just, like, it seems like it was all trial and error. You don't have to say any special words... Um, the brewing stand, all it is is being powered by a blaze rod, which I'm assuming is just hot. And you need to put a bottle of water in there. So it seems like it's just like, I'm going to boil some water and put some salt in here. I'm going to make, you know, concentrated salt water or something. I don't know. And like, oh yeah, this is a potion of dehydration. Drink it. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it kind of feels like. Um... Whereas enchantments, it's very mystical because it's like, it's a book. It, it, it has nothing special about it other than maybe some words written in it. I don't know. Um, you want to be a certified simp and do Google surveys to get money to sub to your simpies? I am actually doing Google surveys. I wasn't doing it for that reason, but that does give me a good idea. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I won't get you started on Minecraft YouTuber. What's bad about the modding team? Um, hang on. Uh, um, what do I say about that? So... What's bad about the modding team, I ask, because you told me not to diss them, but you said you have a problem with them. I did say that, didn't I? So... I don't... I don't know what to say without probably getting myself in trouble. But... I mean, I could say a lot anyway. <laughs> um, okay. So, you guys want the beef? You guys want the beef? I'll, I'll, uh, okay, fine. We'll talk about it. So, my problem. My problem with the mod team, and this really goes for any mod team, but this one especially, this is like, <laughs> this is going to be really bad. I'm just going to say it bluntly. If you got a problem with me saying what I say, if you're a part of the mod team out there, I will correct things with you in a minute, but give me a second because I'm about to say what's on my mind. I'm the only one that's there. I'm the only one doing things. I, oh gosh, okay, we're going into it. I don't mind being the only one doing things, okay? But, 
There are times where things come down to a vote in the mod team. And people who do nothing don't deserve a vote. <laughs> I said it. I meant it. I meant it. Okay? <laughs> I meant it. People that don't do things don't deserve a vote. Now, that being said, I'm sure they're wonderful people. They're great people, in fact. The people I've talked to, they're great. However, if they're not going to be doing things, it is of my firm belief... It is my firm belief that they either step down and take a break or politely, and I'm going to say this bluntly, they politely shut up. Now, again, no hate towards any of them. I'm sure they're all great people. Osis actually does things. Let me correct what I said earlier. Osis is great. Osis is amazing. Uh, Osis is there at, usually at least once a stream. And uh, he does take care of things in the Discord, and he does things on Minecraft as well, so Osis is fine. Now, everybody else on the other hand. <laughs> I haven't even written my introduction, but that's the only way I know who the other mods are, I'm gonna be honest. Like, if it weren't for the fact that I see some of them come online occasionally... I wouldn't know who any of them are except for the Staff Tato's mod introductions. Um, now, again, let me clarify. They're all great people, I'm sure. I haven't met one of them, but I've met the others. They're cool. They're awesome. I, I just <laughs> question why their mod is all. <laughs> and it makes me feel like a crappy mod. Okay? It makes me feel like a crappy mod because I'm over here asking to do more. Because I'm doing all these other things and because I'm doing these other things, it makes me feel like because I'm asking to do more, I'm either being too pushy for more or uh, I, I don't want Kit to feel bad that... Uh, I'm there doing everything. I don't mind doing everything. It's just I want to do more. And I physically cannot because, she, one, she won't let me. But two, if if I did have more I could do, truth of the matter is I don't know if I could do it all. I would love to mod on her Minecraft server. And I am mod there. But mods on the Minecraft server, real talk for a second, have no power. <laughs> we can ban people. But we gotta be able to watch you do it, and we can't actually get in Spectator to watch you X-Ray, for example. Now, I shouldn't have told you guys that, probably, because now you're gonna go in X-Ray, so don't. Don't spread that info. But, I can't sit there and actually watch you do it. However, we have our other ways, so just know you will still get caught. Um, now... Now I've said all that, um... Hmm. How much deeper do I want to go? <laughs> How much deeper do I want to go? Because I've said that much. I might as well finish it, shouldn't I? Uh, okay. The other thing, right? There have been tickets in that Discord, and some of you may have submitted tickets. They'll sit there for a while before I actually... I, I usually try not to respond to them right away because I want to give them a chance to do things. I really do. So sometimes I'll let it sit there for a day, two days, three days. And it's still there. Nobody's answered it. So then I respond to it. Or I'll ask chat, hey guys, can you respond to this ticket? I'm out of town right now. <sighs> I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have said as much as I've said. But you guys asked. <laughs> you guys asked. Now you want me to get me started on my mod team, I will criticize the heck out of it. I will. I'm not scared to. Uh, because I'm, I'm the boss of it. I, I have nothing to lose. <laughs> in fact, I'm considering cleaning out house in my mod team. 
So I I will gladly yap about that. Hear me out, Google, am I a simp quiz? That's an idea. That might be a second channel kind of video even. Uh, let's see. Do... So I'll make sure I'm all caught up. Mom is gossiping. I want the beef. You are. <laughs> True, Ant would do things, but he's taking a break, which is good. Yeah, Ant was the only other one, honestly. And once he took a break, I, I shouldered the brunt of it. Because, uh, one, I'm not about to get on to other people that I've only known for truly only a month. They're, they're not going to be respect, re receptive to me saying anything. However, I have had conversations with Ant behind closed doors about things. And him and I both know where this has to go. So I just shouldered everything. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I, I am happy to be there. And if I can help, that makes it even better. It's good to be needed. So that's partially also why I'm there every stream is because if I'm not, I know nobody else is. And there are some annoying people. Okay, I, I, I know we've gotten some crap about this. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I do rig the vote a little bit. Just a tiny bit. And that's because um, I, kn I know I know that as a streamer, when you put up things as a vote, there is secretly like one or two options that you secretly want more than the other ones. So, I do rig it a little bit. When she throws up a vote, I either can tell by the way she typed it that she has a clear favorite, or I will sometimes just straight up message her and ask her what her favorite option is. And then I will vote for it, and my brother has gotten into the habit of messaging me and asking what we're voting for. So yes, sometimes you will notice that there is like a couple of votes that are just kind of off by themselves, that's usually me and my brother. Uh, I always vote with Kit. If she's voted, I vote with her, regardless of what I want. Uh, yesterday was different. Uh, I voted for Faz initially, but I swapped it to Among Us because we hadn't had Among Us in a while. But I wanted Faz. Uh, but I knew there was no chance we were getting that one. <laughs> Look, at uh, I'm just saying Spicy as Mod would get things done. I'm just saying me as Mod would get stuff done, but like that <laughs> joke. Uh, the guy who can't spawn referring to me, by the way. I've heard nothing from Crispy. I called him out like dog. How come I've heard nothing? Crispy? Oh, Crispy Cryptid. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait, are we talking about politics? Mod politics. Mod, 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 mod politics. Sure. <laughs> I was supposed to tell me to shut up. You'll tell me maybe just don't say that here. Ask me, I got caught. I was the only one online. I have. If I'm being honest, I don't play on Kit's server much. I can never find the time. That's fair. I don't play on her server much. I want to. I've got some plans too soon. Um, I'm actually planning on doing something maybe, possibly soon. Maybe. I can't really say much, but maybe. <laughs> um... Okay. My marinated for five days. Look, I'll say it again. Just saying spicy as mod would get things done again. I can't spell either. Old Man Pete would go crazy as mod. I have concerns about Old Man Pete, but I won't say them on stream. Uh, me as mod would get stuff done. <laughs> Rigging stuff is great, though. I got guys who will vote on Kit's behalf. I, I always, always, always vote for her preference if she has one uh yesterday she didn't have one so i didn't i i picked what i wanted but once i saw that among us was close to winning i was like okay we we could try among us which just created more work for me because th that draws in like all the children who are like can we vc can we vc <laughs> oh, oh, oh oh don't get me started on those kids Oh jeez, I'm not I'm not gonna get on that one yet. We'll we'll talk about that in a minute. I gotta roast my mod team first. Um <laughs> Yeah, 
You guys want to hear about my mod team, though? This is, this is all for the sake of fair criticism. I said some bad stuff about somebody else's mod team. I'm going to be dead honest about mine, okay? I've not had a great amount of mods to begin with. Like, we've had in total, let me think, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, I think nine different mods. Okay, ten, eleven, eleven in total. Now, they're not, we're going to start way back at the beginning, the first couple of months. First one wasn't terrible, was the most trustworthy person given the position of where we were at. Now, the problem with that, the problem with that, I gave them the ability to pick out their own mod team. And they picked a whole bunch of 11-year-olds. Actually, they picked one 11-year-old, but that was a whole bunch at the time. And that created a whole bunch of issues where they were cheating. They were using creative mode. Not cool. Not cool at all. So, uh, yeah, that happened. Got their mod removed. Good. Uh, then we had another guy who could dish jokes but couldn't take them. He had mod for a very long time because he technically didn't do anything wrong until he did. And once he did, I was able to take him out. So I took him away. Uh, he, he went inactive for a while. He's back now. He's actually really cool now. But back then, he wasn't as great. Then we got Unreal. Unreal's great, but I'm going to roast him. I'm going to roast him for a second here because I'm not, I'm not going to roast him. I'm just going to full-on criticize him. This is going to be mean. But Unreal was great. Unreal was beautiful. He was, he was about as perfect of a mod as you could get, okay? However, however, we have not seen him in, like, we have not seen him on a consistent basis since, like, April. Okay, so you know, Unreal was great for two years. April, though, he dropped off the face of the earth. Now we still talk to him. I actually talked to him today. He's great. He's amazing. I I still appreciate him for all he's done. That's not me trying to get mad at him and say like he needs to come back. Nuh uh That's just me making a note of my mod team is not what it's supposed to be. I don't even really know if you could call my mod team a mod team, to be honest, because what I'm about to tell you is a very, very, very sad story, okay? Because <laughs> after Unreal, let's see, so we, we went from those two to him to then Unreal. Unreal was perfect. He was like our golden child. One of my friends came back. Hey, thank you so much for subscribing, Bionics. Much appreciated. How are you doing, dude? Good to see you. Um, but we, we got to the point where, uh, my brother was modding still. He, he's good, but he doesn't mod on Minecraft. He, he doesn't really get on Minecraft. He keeps saying he's going to, we all know he's not. Um, uh, <laughs> then I have my friends. They're good, but they're good in a pinch, but they're not here. So again, inactive. Uh, Bagels was a mod for a while, and he was good until he just stopped showing up. He didn't really do anything even with his mod either, so it was kind of like, uh, he was good deterrent, but that was about it. He did ban somebody, like, once, I think, so that was nice. Um, he lost his mod because he was in an active. Um, we're going off today, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so... Let's see, who, who's next? Would next one be Anna? Probably. Anna's great. She shows up to Twitch occasionally. She doesn't play Minecraft anymore, though. She's going to lose her mod ability soon, probably. Um, Marie, she's still a Twitch mod, and she, she does show up sometimes. She's cool. And I will let her keep her mod for as long as she wants, because she's my friend. Um, and she's good in a pinch as well. 
Uh, that brings me down to Pi. I think. Pi is great, okay? Pi is amazing. Pi... <laughs> I, I love having Pi around. He is funny. He, um... He's got a willingness to learn. And he just genuinely wants to help. He reminds me a lot of me, in fact. Uh, not, well, me, but funny. So, you know, he's great. He's amazing. However, the, he, he goes in waves. He goes in waves between being active and not active. Unfortunately, his name has been sort of drugged through the mud due to some controversies on the server, which has not been great. Um... Uh, let me think. What else? <laughs> I see what you're saying there, and no, he's a minor. We're not, we're not even entertaining that. Gosh, no. Um. <laughs> Gosh. Um. Oh, what else? But no, he, he's great. He, he, Pi is good. Um. However, like I said, comes and goes in waves. Which is fine. I'm not expecting anybody to be here 24/7, but if you guys want me to go unhinged, I go unhinged, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell tell you guys how I feel about <laughs> about my mod team. I could clean house right now, and you guys probably wouldn't notice, which is concerning. <laughs> like. I don't know if you would notice, besides, like, the names on Discord not showing up on the sidebar. Would you guys... I don't, I don't think you guys would notice. Clean house. Clean house, oh my gosh. Go, I want to hear the beef. Oh, jeez. I could go way deeper into the beef, but I don't want to yet, because I... I have, like, things I know of that other people don't know I know, which would create for some really entertaining scenarios, but I'm not sure it's ready to be seen in the light of day. Because if I bring it to the light of day... You remember how I talked to you guys earlier about bullets being taken for people and stuff? That's where it's going. So, uh, it, it goes way deeper. <laughs> Way deeper than any of you could ever imagine, and I feel very dramatic saying that, but I'm not really even kidding. It's kind of concerning. Oh boy, if I could tell you all the things. <laughs> if I could tell you all the things. <sighs> okay, let me catch up on chat. I got a little bit excited, I'm sorry. An 11-year-old? Yeah. I made a mistake telling that mod that they could pick their own mod team. Uh, SMP and Among Us were about tied. Yeah, they were. Um, can I put a king mod app? Uh, I will be opening mod apps eventually, maybe, possibly. I don't know, I don't... I used to think I needed more because it's like really helpful to have people who are really dedicated and willing to be mods. But at the same time, I, I'm finding it easy enough to do it myself. If chat was like really, really busy again, I would consider it though. Um, I need to make mod apps again. I, I want to revamp it. Um, I can dish and take them. So when do I get mod? I do not dish them, so can I? I can take them. And I am too. Let's get crap done. Cool sentence to come back to. Thank you. Is probably going to do that one day. Leave? Probably. It's a mod person. Your one mod is a great mod team while two active mods. Doing great. You're welcome. He also had bad interwebs. Pi? Oh yeah, Pi had bad interwebs before the uh, server upgrade. He's got better internet now. Uh, to the server anyway. It's a little bit better. Uh, that was nice. Isn't what mods are supposed to do. 
Um, I'm seeing a theme, really active people, but then they get mod and they're gone. Exactly. They, that's, that's the crazy thing. Every person that I've mentioned, they were active and then they get mod and then about a month or two later, they disappear. It's insane. <laughs> if you all want to see spicy under mod tab, you all better start behaving. Pie is also edible. Oh, pie. Sorry. King, that sounds like you want to have more with pie. Indeed. Ahem. Jerb. Ahem. I'm, I have adopted him. Pie is my son. I go, I want to hear the beef, clean house, clean house, clean house. I want, I would go 24 7 my life failing. <laughs> Let me name all the mods I can. Anna, Admiral, Unreal, Pie, Marie. I had checked the mod tab on it. I don't even uh pointless and lunar are also on that team but again they're my friends so they have it just because they're good in a pinch uh oh wait i do have to join your discord actually doing that now thank you i appreciate it coral i can only name unreal pie marie nuggy for mod even though they don't play much mods are good when you have an off stream slash video job uh, then when you're you are out, you have someone to cover your butt. <laughs> um, um, um. Yo, pie. Let's go. Um. But yeah, no, my, I don't know. If I if I pick any more mods anytime soon, I I don't know who I'd pick. I'm kind of, I, I, I will say this. When, when picking a mod for your community, you usually have people in mind that you want. It's just a matter of checking if they have interest. Um, usually that's the hard part, is finding people who are actually interested in being a mod. Um, at least in my opinion. How do cats spawn? Um. Oh. Okay. Uh, that was weird. Give me a second. What happened? Um. It doesn't say. Okay. That's fine. It was our proxy. That's that's what that's for. Okay. Um It's like a love life. You find a lot of people you want, but you just got to know if they are into you. Exactly. Exactly. I've got people in mind that I think would be great mods and then they never apply. <laughs> or there are people who are um who are great mods, or would be great mods, but aren't active enough. And it's like, man, I would love to have you, but I don't know if that's a great idea. <laughs> I want to be a mod, yo, Pi. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if I can make you a mod. I don't know if you've proven yourself yet. <laughs> okay, let me see... How to find a cat in Minecraft. Um. Okay. Obviously you cannot tame a cat without finding it first. However, determining where to look for your feline companion differs depending on what variant of cat you wish to tame. Each cat variant spawns in specific places. Okay. So, uh, tameable cats spawn in villages with at least five claimed beds by villagers within 48 blocks of each other. Up to four cats can spawn any more than that, and the cats will despawn. Additionally, ocelots can be found in jungle biomes, black cats can be found in witch huts, and, uh, so when you come across... Okay. So basically, I just need to make another bed and put it in here, and they should claim it, and then we should get cats spawning. Cool. Um, I want to be a mod. I have made at least five mod applications. 
Uh, you need to, you need some, or at least one before 12 hour stream, because Admiral might not want to stay for 12 hours. Need to plan shifts. I made six. Mod applications are interesting. Oh wow, okay, that... Interesting. Okay, sorry, that was really weird. Really weird experience. Um, so I'll explain to you guys my, my thought process on mod applications a little bit here in a second. Um, but essentially, basically, the timing of it all always sucks. <laughs> because once we do it, usually, usually something comes up that's like, okay, I don't know. Uh, for example, uh, a couple of times now I've had somebody in my mod, my, my uh, applications, who... They, they have, you know, passed my test with flying colors. And I, I look at it, and before I know it, suddenly they disappear. And, um, it's like, well, I guess I can't pick them for a mod. Or somebody makes it. That's for my brother-in-law, Pi. <laughs> he, he specifically requested it. Um, I've had some people show up, request mod, and like they put in a good application, but I didn't know them well enough. It's like, okay, I gotta wait. Um, then we've had people who apply for mod. It seems good. And then something happens that basically means I can't. At least not in that wave. And it always, it almost always anyway, happens right on top of mod applications that something like that will happen. And it's just like, I can't, can't accept that now. Um, however, if I'm starting from scratch on the mod team anytime soon, um... It'll be... It'll be a lot easier to pick, because I won't have anybody stopping me either. <laughs> I, I will have nobody stopping me, in fact. Uh, thank you for submitting your taxes, Louie. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay, let me check up on chat here. I saw one stream where if you have certain hours in VIP and want mods, and they think you could be a good mod, your mod. It's not that trustful though, but a good idea. Yeah, I mean, there's some people I think could be great mods, but there's other people I think are terrible mods. And they have like a lot of watch time. I'm not gonna name them. I don't know if they're here or not, but there are some people in the community who have a good amount of watch time, but would not be a good mod. And I'm sure all of you are going, surely not I, Lord. And uh, before you say it, no, I'm not Jesus. But, um, but I, I'm not talking about you. But if you think I am, maybe you should examine yourself and figure out if I am. Because maybe, just maybe, it is you. <laughs> I'm going off the handles. I'm sorry, guys. You asked for this, remember. I'm a horrible mod. You are such a bad mod. Honestly, though. Always just destroying stuff. Literally, dude. I... I... <laughs> Bro broke everything. Day one. Gosh. Derek for mod. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you for submitting your taxes, Pi and Bionics. Much appreciated. Uh, if I ever become mod and need something to get done, I'll have it done in two hours if I can do it on my own. Unlurk. Thank you for unlurking. Welcome back. Um, that's that's one of the other things I've realized. I don't so much need mods. I need. I need people who are, like, just free labor at this point. <laughs> because, like, I can do all the moderation work myself, is the truth. What I really need now 
is I need people who I can kind of have do everything else. Uh, running the server isn't hard, but having help with it would be so helpful. Now, the problem is that requires a ton more trust. So I can't just do that. Um, I can't just immediately promote somebody to that, because what do they get? They get all of the IPs. They get access to literally everything I've been working on for the past three years. So it's really hard to pick somebody out for that. So when I'm picking somebody for mod, I'm also trying to pick somebody I think could be a good admin. This also means I need somebody who will... Um, Somebody quote Bionics there. That is beautiful. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? That scared going in the console. Yeah, the console is a, a little bit intense. Um, but, uh, let me think. What was I going to say? You know, I, I'm trying to pick people out who can help me with all the heavy lifting, because that's the thing. The SMP is what really needs the mods, because it's somebody that can be on and play and help new players, and then it's somebody that can help make, like, things that we need. So, especially for next season, I'm going to need people that can, like, actually probably make plugins and develop that stuff, because we're going to be trying to get it going so that we can do custom things that no other server has because i'm sick and tired of the server not being what i know it, it deserves you know so i'm gonna do it um oh there's a creeper um so you know it means i'm gonna have to learn how to make plugins it means i'm gonna need to make people i'm gonna have to pick people who can help me either make them or I at least understand the plugin enough that I can delegate it to somebody else afterwards. Um, where it's like, okay, this guy, you know everything that we currently have, so I'm not going to need you to develop things. I just need you to keep up to date with this kind of stuff. And then it's like, okay, well, now we need somebody to make plugins. And that's the hard part, finding people who can make it. And... I don't want to ask people to do stuff for free. So then that leads you down the path of like, okay, well, how do we monetize the server to the point where we can actually afford to pay for that? You can't. You just can't. Because I've been down this road hundreds of times before. The truth of the matter is, we're all broke. <laughs> well, let's just talk about that for a second, okay? We're all broke. So... I've had people tell me that I should just make it Patreon only, and then you pay Patreon like $1 a month. And, um, and you, you get, you know, access to the server. My server ain't worth $1 a month. Could we make it worth $1 a month? Maybe, but it's not worth it right now, that's for sure. So we can't pay for it that way, that's for sure. That, that's, that's certain. But could we maybe get it to the point where it's, you know, worth some small things here and there that you could buy? I don't know. I don't like making microtransactions in servers, though. So then that's a whole nother issue. <laughs> oh, man. It is awful. It is awful. The conundrum that you face in this, this world of trying to pick out good mods. I could do the modding myself. I just need somebody to do the stuff that I don't have time for. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was a rant, but it felt really good to get off my chest. Okay, let me catch up. I'm sorry. Honest to God, would I make a good mod? Uh, I don't really know yet. I usually, if you're trying to be like a mod on the SMP especially, I usually gauge it off of activity. Uh, Twitch mod, maybe, possibly. Um, one thing that I do know, if I do start multi-streaming, I would want one mod per chat. And at that point, I would probably need to open up 
mod applications. I'm terrible mod, my bad. Derek, Derek for mod, always griefing, not gonna lie. Really the reasons this is a joke and should never happen. Never in the history of ever should happen. We need a mini you. Yeah, that's basically what I need. Which is why I like Pi. Pi is always willing to learn. I'm negative labor, I pay you. JK, I am free labor though. Get your IP without it. I don't want to do that. That's fair, I appreciate it. Quoted, yeah, King SP, King SP, King SP. If you ever paid mods, I would just turn around and donate it right back. I appreciate the thought. I, d I don't know if I'd ever pay my mods, but I'd pay my admins, the people like developing stuff. Um, that's not in the job description right now, Pi, so don't worry. Um, it's just you needed top level access, or bottom level access rather. Uh, because I needed somebody as a second set of eyes and helping with updating stuff occasionally. I'm going to walk later when my, I'm a BFK. All right, sounds good. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it, Spicy. Uh, I'd use my Google survey money on it. Legit same. That's the best rant in a while. We needed that rant. I needed it so badly. <sighs> okay, I need to take a quick break, but we can talk about this some more in a minute. Uh, but, uh, I'm waiting on cats to spawn. So I will see you guys here in about, uh, three minutes or so. And, uh, because ads are about to play. And I'm gonna go get some water. <coughs> I'll be right back. Gosh, that hurt. Okay. Howdy, howdy. Welcome on in, Raiders. I'm sorry. I just got back. 
How's it going though? Let me get you some shout outs. Also, my auto shout out did not work, so I'll have to fix that. But if you guys haven't already, be sure to follow Just Cause underscore live there. Last seen playing Persona 5 Strikers. Uh, they've been playing through the entirety of the Persona games recently. And, um, and uh, it's been a good time whenever I've been able to go over there and lurk. Uh, so I can say this much. He's worth hanging around. I, I actually hung out with him a little bit last night, too. So he's a lot of fun. Uh, Persona is lit. Persona is very lit. Uh, that was some great timing, King. Thank you. I, I try to have it. I, I don't really have much control over it, but I, I, I try. I do try. Um, let's see. King is currently away. Oh, there he is. I, I'm back. Back again. Uh, internet just pooped. I'll get on in a minute. All right. Sounds good, Pi. Sounds good. Uh, let me just go. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, we're just playing some Minecraft right now, and I have been going on a rant and a half, and I have been ripping into people, uh, and it feels good. They've let me loose, which is the biggest mistake any of us could have made. Uh, we're trying to get cats as well, which hasn't really worked. Um... <laughs> oh, rant, you say? What about? Oh, I... <laughs> I have... I have been ranting for... How, how long have I been ranting, guys? Do you guys remember? It feels like way too long. But I've been ranting on mod teams. Uh, my mod team, a mod team I just joined recently. Um, I'm, I might even rant about other mod teams that I've been a part of. But I've been ranting about the poor quality of people that have been on those mod teams. And, oh my gosh, I have just... I feel so free just ripping and tearing, dude. This is nice. <laughs> I have no regrets. This actually might kill me. Hang on. I didn't think he could actually hit me that hard. There we go. That chest plate really does a lot. Uh, hey, Reg, Ant told me to say that you have W Riz and def could definitely pull. What does he mean by that? What? <laughs> What does he mean by that? I... That was out of the blue. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. Thank you. I feel like I have very W Riz. Did you guys see what my status was the last couple of days? I feel like I had... Like... Uh, poetry might be my path to victory here, okay? Hear me out, guys. <laughs> I know I accidentally kind of stole some of that line from Jim Crow, Crow, Crosh, Crochy. I, I don't remember how to say his name all of a sudden. But uh, Time in a Bottle is a great song, by the way. But I did put my own spin on it. I just didn't realize I stole it from him initially. But Time in a Bottle is a great song, for one. But uh, I, I changed enough of the words in that that I feel like it was different enough. I wasn't copying him. I've got W Riz, okay? The problem is, I just attract the people that I don't want. <laughs> this has been the never ending issue. This is the never ending issue. <laughs> um, King got a girlfriend? No. I, King wishes. King really wishes, but King isn't that good. Not yet. He's he's working on it. I don't know why I'm referring to myself in third person, but I am. The poetry strong is the poetry is strong, but the might can be stronger, bruh. Uh here, let me actually turn it up a little bit. I'm noticing I am quiet, aren't I? Test, test, test. Uh, it's not clipping. What? Why are you not clipping? It usually clips. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. No, back, 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 back. Okay. 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 There we go. We're good. We're good. I'm actually loud again. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I wasn't 
fully. You're supposed to have that gain up as high as you can without clipping on this interface anyway, and this mic. So I've been trying to fix it. And I, I've just recently realized I had the mic not quite angled correctly. So um, now that we're fixed, I'm hoping like everything sounds a little bit better. I thought my voice sounded a little more crisp since I've changed it, but I, I might I might just be imagining that. Ant said he was just being nice and said you don't really have W Riz. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, uh, well, at least Ant's nice. Ant's nice to me. Gus just bullies me. He doesn't even believe in me any other time. Um, how do you feel? I got two women before. That's crazy, Swift too. That is crazy. Just referencing yesterday. Yesterday. I'm. <gasps> I was about to say, I don't remember anything to do with Mike, and then I was like, oh wait, the mic, yeah, yeah, the mic, right, gotcha, yeah, the mic game could definitely be stronger. Thank you for the candy frog, I've got a little bit of a Kit Kat here, actually, so I'm gonna eat that. Oh, you remember it all right, I remember it all too well. <laughs> oh... Man, my mic game could definitely be better, that's for sure. It could definitely be better. Um, do, do, do. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing, Coral. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, there has been something that's been worrying me lately. My new girlfriend and my ex are weirdly like friends. So I'm thinking about a really bad scenario. If my current girlfriend turns lesbian and dates my ex, that would hurt. <laughs> that would be awful, but kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. That's the most movie line plot that could happen to you, dude. Don't worry. Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, but again, thank you so much for subscribing, Coral. I appreciate it. Uh, choosing to use your Prime on me means a bunch. Anyway, food time. I can see ya. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good rest of your night. Do you hate me? No, I killed your friend. Why don't you- why don't you hate me? Where's all my cats? Uh, they spawn at least five claimed beds. Within 48 blocks of each other. Up to... Four cats can spawn. Any more than that, and the cats will despawn. Okay. Hmm. So I'm not really getting any information out of this. Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft wiki. Uh, cats. Okay. Natural spawning, Java edition. Okay. Cats can spawn every one minute. A random player is selected, including spectators, and a random location is chosen 8 to 32 blocks away from the player, horizontally, in both directions, at the same height. Okay, that's weird. That doesn't seem right. A cat can spawn if a block is less than two chunks from a village, or f with fewer than five cats. Okay. Villages. Untamed cats can spawn in villages as long as there's at least five beds claimed within 48 blocks, and at most four cats within a 97 by 17 by 97 box centered around the spawn po position. Cats that spawn with the creation of a village do not despawn. However, any additional cats that spawn within a village may despawn. A village cat spawns with random appearance, although black cats may only spawn during a full moon, which works in both Java and Bedrock Edition. 
The spawning of cats in villages is a separate process from the natural spawning of passive mobs and thus does not affect the creature mob cap. In bedrock condition, blah 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 blah, okay. There's at least five beds claimed. So I don't know what else I can do except wait. Sir, there's a bed right there. Okay, let me go get more beds. Hmm. I'm not sure more beds will fix it, but I'm going to try it. Um, okay. Uh, let me think. Since we're already off the handle at this point, I'm trying to just go ahead and say my piece about everything else that's been bothering me. Because I feel good right now. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, hmm. Something else I've said that's been bugging me that I haven't talked about. I'm sure I've got a lot that I could say. Um, it's good to be bad, guys. It's good to be bad. <laughs> um, hmm. So, you know what's been bugging me lately? <laughs> uh,. We are therapy. We are all therapy. I'm therapy for you guys. You're therapy for me. Together, we we therapy. <laughs> it's such a dumb joke. Um. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, what was I gonna say? Um. You had me on the mic, and now now I'm. I'm, I'm, my, 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 my brain's gone. Um. Therapies. That's a villager, okay. Where's like... Why aren't the cats spawning? They should be. I don't know. I do not know. Okay, what I'm going to do then, is I'm going to do a potentially dumb thing, and I'm going to try to get them to walk with me all the way over here while we rant. Um, oh, okay, here's something I can rant about. You know those people on Twitter or on YouTube or anywhere who who complain about Minecraft development cycles. We could totally start a whole rant on them. Because I've got some problems. <laughs> I've got some problems with them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. So... Oh, okay. We got it. We got it. We got it. But uh, some of these people do not understand whatsoever how game development works. And I'm not going to pretend to know myself, okay? Like, I, I don't. I don't know. It is something I don't understand. However, I do know it is a lot harder than what people think. And... These people who are going to, like, Twitter and such and are saying, you're not giving us insert feature here after we've been asking for it for this long. Minecraft sucks. You should have never sold it to, to Microsoft, um, which is a whole different debate. But, you know, going off on these developers who are just doing what they're told. It's their job to do what they do. So trust me. I think they know a thing or two about development. It's okay. You will be okay with the couple of blocks you're getting. People were complaining about the creaking heart not dropping anything useful when it was first announced. And I feel like they've eaten their words for the most part recently. But it sucks that they have to be 
fed their words as often as they do because it happens so many times every every minecraft update people see this feature announced and they're like but it's not useful aren't these the same people who are complaining that we don't have penguins in minecraft and they would like it even though it's going to be useless i'm just saying i'm just saying i don't i'm not like for or against useful or non-useful creatures but if you're going to complain at least be consistent now Two, um, point two, uh, every single time that people have complained about it not dropping something useful, it's either been like the warden, for example, where people are like, well, it's, 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 it's a boss, it's a boss. I don't seem to remember anybody ever mentioning that the warden is a boss, uh, not anyone official anyway. Maybe they've called it a mini boss or a semi boss, but they've never called it a full blown boss. Boss, so it doesn't need to do anything useful. In fact, the Ender Dragon, it doesn't actually do anything to progress your gameplay necessarily, besides opening up an end gateway. It just stands in between you and that. That's all it does, and you don't need an end gateway. You could just build out the thousand blocks or whatever, and then. You got people that complain about the creaking not giving you anything useful because you can't kill it, and the creaking heart not being all that useful. And then they eat their words. They eat their words immediately because we got, what is it, uh, resin? Resin is actually kind of cool. It's a nice block. I like it. Uh, I have to head out. Have a wonderful day, though. All right, sounds good, Coral. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. And thank you again for subscribing. I, I appreciate that as well. I hope you have a good night, though. Uh, people would make all the new features in one day and go off saying that the devs are lazy, but they only created the blocks, they didn't create the new biome, the new biome features, the tree generation, the mob, new mob, and its feature that connects it to the heart block, etc., plus all the balancing they have to do. Exactly. And they're not developing it for both Java and Bedrock. Like, that is the other thing. They're having to make sure that it's consistent between two development teams, which is a lot harder than you think because there's one team in the US and one team in uh, Stockholm, Sweden. So, I don't know. I it, it, There's not a whole lot of real-time communication that can go on there because their office hours are not perfectly lined up. They have enough time for like a meeting between the two of them and saying, hey, we did this today, by the way. It's like, okay, cool, we'll we'll do that then. And just because there's like a thousand, I, I don't employ a thousand people, but I don't remember how many people Mojang employs, but it's not that much in realistic standards. Because if you take the Bedrock team out of it alone, it takes out most of it. And the reason Bedrock needs that many developers is because of people that play Bedrock. It's a huge platform. You're, you're talking about needing people who can do who understand mobile ui because every update there's like the new thing that happens and mobile needs to figure out how in the world they're going to adapt to it um the wide range of devices though is awful that is a nightmare to develop for because you occasionally get just a bug that only happens in ps4 edition and it's like okay how do we fix this you don't you just can't Come here. Please love me. Okay, I'm just... Get over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's one. Most of the time they're fixing bugs and making sure everything doesn't break. They want to produce new features that aren't buggy or bad quality. Exactly. And beyond all of that, like, if they stopped working on those... Uh, stopped working on those bug fixes, people would complain that it's coming out buggy. It's like, you can't have it both ways, guys. And not to mention, every update they do, people are yelling about it not feeling Minecrafty to them, and it's like... I'm sorry, I didn't know you guys got to define what is and isn't Minecrafty. Like, don't get me wrong, like, yeah, I have my own idea of what's Minecrafty as well, but... I'm not going to shout at the developers of the game who literally know what they're doing, who have had to read the book that, that Jeb has made. 
about developing Minecraft and all the little quirks about it. I I would I would believe him over over some redditor who says this doesn't feel like Minecraft to me. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. Ah, <sighs> I'm sorry that that one that one felt a little bit personal. Um, to, I hope none of you guys hate me for that, but I felt like it needed to be said. And I would consider making a whole video about it, but I know I'd get flamed in the comments because it's a whole bunch of eight-year-olds who don't understand a thing about game development. I would, I would encourage anybody, okay? Anybody out there right now who thinks that it's easy to, to make a game update, I want you to try to make your own Minecraft mod. Like right now. A full-blown Minecraft mod that you would consider update worthy. If you can do that, and you can say with full certainty that that was easy, and that Mojang is just being lazy, then I want you to do that five years in a row. If you can do it five years in a row and still be coming up with great ideas, full-blown update concepts, sure. Then you can have the right to say that. I'm sorry. That was... I feel like that was like, if there was a kill shot, that was the kill shot right there. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, is there a bed I could borrow? Yeah, I'm borrowing your bed, sir. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. My... I don't know if you guys can hear it. My chair is awful. Um, wait, yeah, let me see if I can get it. do it again. You can hear it, you can see it sort of, but it's awful. I hate my chair. Aw. Um I need to retighten up all the screws on it, make sure it's all good. Cause I'm I have a feeling like one day the back is just gonna fall off. Which is terrifying. Okay, I have three cats. Which isn't a lot, but we can kind of multiply them a little bit. Where's my kitten? Kitten? Okay, let's go this way. Come on. Um, let's see. Do do do. Want to catch up really fast? Uh, the main thing with the fireflies, for example, is they are useless first of all. But also, if they are buggy at all, it may have broken the game because of lag. Same thing happened with bees duping. Yes, yes, exactly. There, there are consequences to things, and sometimes they have to cancel other things. I will say the reason Fireflies was mostly upsetting is because we've had that dumb excuse several times over about why they removed things or changed things or didn't add things. Like, for example, uh, there are, I, I am still kind of upset about it, about the Fireflies, only because we've heard that excuse about uh, parrots. Where they're like, real life frogs don't eat um, fireflies, so we're removing that functionality. Okay, that's fine. But you didn't just straight up remove cookies from the game. And I, I know cookies were already in Minecraft when the parrots were added, so like I know that doesn't hold like a whole lot of weight to it. But they didn't just remo fully remove cookies from the game because of the parrots. They just said parrots won't eat cookies anymore, or they'll die. I don't, I don't remember which one they ended up going with, but I think they I think they removed the cookie eating functionality, or it, I, it might just straight up kill it now. I don't remember, but either way, figure out what you're doing about it, and just still add it. I don't know. Uh, home village, please. Yes, teleport. Thank you. Uh, can you got any? Blackstone I could borrow, aka use for my new storage room. I need about a shulker, actually only nine stacks. Um I'll look. I will look. Uh I love coding and making mods. It takes a long time, but it's fun. I I would love I would love to make mods, but I know I don't have the time or the patience. 
because I have tried. And I do intend to try again because I want to do it for a video. I have a really cool video idea. Um... But I I do not have like the patience right now to learn. So I gotta get all my other affairs in order before I can actually start taking on that task. Now, the question is, do I wanna start making my game first or do I wanna start working on mods first? They could feed into each other. They might not though. That's the thing. I'm not planning on coding my game in Java, so learning JavaScript, or uh, not JavaScript, but learning Java doesn't really make a ton of sense. Other than un you'll understand a lot about syntax, but, um, you know, I, I, I really, it really won't help me too much. But I do want to make a couple of videos around my mod, sh my, 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 my update concepts, and I want to make a whole mod out of those concepts. But it's really hard. It's, it's really, 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 really hard. Takes a long time, but it's fun. Hardest part is errors. They tell you at nothing, and you gotta look through thousands of lines of code. Ugh. Yeah. Do you, what, uh... What, um, what, uh, oh, thank you for the follow, Cheeky, Cheeky, Oswald, thank you for the follow, Oswald, how are you doing, dude, welcome to the stream, uh, Mr. Nog is a real person, Mr. Nog is indeed a real person, how's it going, um, what, uh, environment do you use, uh, Bionix, if you don't mind me asking, I'm curious, uh, thank you for submitting your taxes. Let's go. First one. Um, did I check these? I might not have any blackstone. Are we talking about coding? A little bit, yeah. Um, I kind of went off because... Uh, I, I've been going off all day today. But um, <laughs> I went off more so about... Um, in this case, people saying like modders can make Minecraft updates in one day and it takes Mojang ages. Um, so I I just kind of started going off on that a little bit and said like, well, if people, if people think it's so easy and that Mojang is just being lazy, they need to try to make a full-blown update in a mod for... Um, for uh, the game, and they need to do that consecutively for five years. Otherwise, they will not understand what it's like to truly do the game, the game development. You know, and it takes Mojang ages because of bugs and bedrock. You know, JavaScript isn't Minecraft modding, is it? Uh, I thought it was Java. Uh, I think it's Java, just Java. JavaScript for Minecraft mod development. Uh, I think you can use JavaScript now. I think about it. It depends on your compiler. Uh, I don't really know a whole lot about Java and JavaScript. I used to do JavaScript a little bit. However, uh, I have not done it since I was like 12. So, not great with it. However, however, I did use it a little bit. Now, I have learned a lot about Java, and the syntax is mostly the same. The syntax, well, from what I, I looked at anyway, it's mostly the same. However, it is a pain. <laughs> it is pain. I have learned so much about Java development in the last couple of days because I had to fix a Minecraft plugin. The developer just kind of abandoned the whole project, disappeared off the face of the earth, and they decided to stop responding to messages. So we don't even have the source code. So I had to decompile the whole plugin, which was like a process because there's like a whole bunch of folders inside of folders with files in all of those folders. And so you had to decompile the classes into J Java's. <sighs> and then, <laughs> and then I had to open all that up in Eclipse. But then I was like, I don't know how to code. So then I was like, okay, hey, chat GPT, I'm getting this error on a Minecraft plugin and I don't know what I'm doing. Can you help me? And he's like, yeah, sure, let's just do this. And then I'm like, okay, sure, that's fine, we'll do that. 
And then I realized I was making the file structure wrong because I didn't decompile every single class. So I had to go back in and decompile every single class all over again. <laughs> then I updated the code, it didn't work. And then we're like, oh shoot, we're missing some dependencies. I need to go find, uh, let's see, I needed to find Spigot API. And then I needed to find, um, what was the other API? Shoot. LUT perms. I had to find the LUT perms API. So then I drug those in there. And I was like, okay, it's working now, right? And it's like, ha, no, because actually you're stuck with a dependency that from Bungie. I'm like, okay, we'll do it without Bungie. It started working, but we lost our hex code. I don't know what happened to it. So I was like, hey, add back hex code. And it's like, okay, here. It gave us back Bungie. I'm like, we've never used Bungie. I don't know why you're trying to code with Bungie as a dependency. <laughs> so then I was like, okay, listen up, buddy. I need hex code back. Do not use Bungie. It did it. It worked. However, it dropped all the functionality of everything before that, and it just added back hex code. <laughs> oh, oh, I was mad. So then... I finally gave it the full description. I was like, okay, this is what I want you to do. It's broken in here. Fix it. And it did it. We're good. We're working now. I'm practically a genius. I am so angry. <laughs> I am angry for a slew of reasons. I had to decompile and recompile that thing seven times. I'm going to do it an eighth time because I lost my page functionality somewhere along the way. And I'm... <laughs> Oh boy. <sighs> I'm sorry. I hate I hate coding so much. I want to code. I really want to enjoy it. But when you have dumb experiences like this, it makes me not want to code. But it taught me a lot about coding. It taught me a ton. And and ChatGPT forgetting to declare the um package. It would, it would go, oh yeah, okay, we're just going to go straight into importing. Well, okay, you can import, sure, but you need to, at the top, you need to declare where you're drawing some of these resources from. You need to declare where your resource is found, so when somebody else tries to recall it, they can find it. But no, of course you wouldn't. All of that also trying to read somebody else's spaghetti code. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like a super villain right now, okay? Oh, I, I'm, hmm. I, you guys don't deserve to be yelled at either. I'm sorry. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Um, takes measuring ages to do. Yeah, that, I was doing all that in just Java. Uh, mainly no. Uh, it just shows how much I know. But it's a pain, nah. ChatGPT sucks at coding. I use Claude AI for code AI for real. I, I'll look into it next time I'm working with AI. I was just like, I'm not in... I hate it. I hate it so much. I want to cry. I want to cry. I spent all of last night, like, really late into the morning. Like, it was... It was 5 a.m. by the time I finally called it at night. I, luckily, I was talking to somebody during that. I, I was kind of messaging Ant back and forth a little bit. Um, but I kept saying I was going to go to bed once I got it done. And I, I couldn't get it done. I was so... And a couple of nights before that, I was trying to get it done. And again, it wasn't working. I'm... If any of you need a plug-in, let me know. Let me know. Because I can make a plug-in. I'll make the best plugin you have ever seen. <laughs> It'll be made by AI, but you can't complain. <laughs> oh, no, I probably couldn't do it. I probably couldn't. I need a better understanding of the fundamentals. Like, I understand the fundamentals of code, but it is, it is rough. It is rough. Um, have you ever done data pack work? It's actually really fun. I used to work on, it wasn't Java data packs. It was bedrock behavior packs. I used to work on those a lot. Um, that was fun. Uh, I didn't get super, 
super far into it because I was actually, <laughs> I was dreaming too big for the the data or behavior packs, and uh, the they didn't support the things I was trying to do with it. So I was always trying to find like ways around it. Nowadays, I probably could do things, but um, it was fun. I enjoyed it uh, for the little while I did it. It was funny because you could do it all in Notepad, uh, and it was just like, dude, this is right up my alley. I don't have computer storage space. Let me just throw it up in Notepad. Notepad is the superior tool, I'm just saying. I would code in Notepad if it would let me do it, like, legitimately. But, like, the problem is syntax in it is a nightmare. I you can I mean that's kind of what like I I mess with config YL uh, YMLs and stuff but uh, like they're that's hardly code I mean it's kind of it's like a variable in your code I guess um oh <sighs> I'm sorry I am ranty today um. I hear my dad. I probably should start quieting down a little bit. He doesn't need to hear me talk about my nightmares of Java development. It actually sounds really fun. You just code with Minecraft commands. Yeah, I, I haven't gotten to mess with data packs yet. I might I might look into it soon then. That would be kind of fun. You know, Pat, oh it is it's a nightmare trust. Uh I, I used to use Notepad++, which is a little bit better than Notepad when it comes to syntax, uh, I think. Still kind of a nightmare. Uh, I used Eclipse for um, the, the plugin development, because I was like, that's the program I used when I was a kid, when I was working on, like, um, I used to make... Like these little games, because I was really trying to be a game developer back then. And so I was messing around with it, and we would, uh, what I would do is I'd look up videos. And uh, one of the videos I remember doing was uh, a number number guessing game. So it gave you three guesses, and it would pick, have you pick a number between one and I think a hundred is what I did. And eventually I just got rid of the lives, because I was like, it's not fun with lives. And uh, I never got past the point of that, but I wanted to add more games on top of all of that as well. And um, man, I I miss I miss that. I really do. Three minutes of ad time. Okay, let me let me finish talking to Oswald first, <laughs> please. Okay, let me get all these these things out of the way though. I just default to Visual Studio. I have messed around with Visual Studio, but it keeps deleting itself on me. And I don't know why. I used to have Unity installed, so I, I had Visual Studio for that, obviously. Then I got rid of Unity because I didn't use it very much. I was like, okay, well, let's go to, um, let's go to, uh, what do you call it? Unreal Engine. That's where I was going to work on it for the most part. And, um, I never, I never looked back to see if Visual Studio was still there. But when I was getting ready to work on my plugin, I was like, okay, I'll just quickly edit this one class file in Visual Studio. I'll decompile it really quick, and then I'll, I'll recompile uh, later. But I'll get a lightweight compiler, so I don't have to mess with anything. Because I don't have a lot of computer storage space. Visual Studio is nowhere to be found, so I don't know where it went. <laughs> Also, thank you for the posture check, the stretching, and the candy, and the ad time. I appreciate it, Swift do. Um, drag yourself, sir. Game dev. I love game dev, but I am so bad at it. I have this big game I want to make, and I know everybody tells you, hey, you shouldn't do your big dream game first, but I'm going to do it, so help me. <laughs> so help. All right, let me go in and take this uh, Kit Kat as well. Kit Kat, thank you. Uh, Swift do. Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, Andrew Dab. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Uh, Emo only should be off in a moment. Yeah, that was, I was going to say, it should just be a couple minutes. Um, do you do any game dev, Oswald, by chance? I'm curious. Because I'd love to tell you about my game, dude. I would love to tell you about it. <laughs> I love Unity so much. I could never really get into it. Um, the nice thing was all the tutorials, but I, I, I sat there and I was like, okay, let me, let me see if I can figure it out. And I, I never really got into it. Then the stuff happened with the, um, the royalties and the, um, uh, oh, they, they had some other issues. I can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but there's a whole slew of issues and that's kind of what drove people to Godot. But I was like, ah, screw it. I'll just go to what the big dogs use because I want to be a full-time game developer one day. I'd like to work at a company so I have a full, like, um, that way I have a fallback plan. If uh, something happens where I just can't afford to pay the bills, I can go work at somewhere else that uses a AAA game engine. And because it's also in C++, I was like, that's a great thing for the resume. If I tell people I code in C++, they're like, great, you're hired. That's what our engine uses. It's like, that's, that's perfect. And then I tried to work with it for a little bit, and I just really couldn't get the hang of C++. And I talked to Kit, and she told me to use Godot. I was like, okay, I was kind of avoiding Godot, because when I first heard about it, they didn't have 3D yet. But now they have 3D, and it actually kind of looks sick. So I'm going to try to use Godot, hopefully, sometime soon. I just got to get a lot of my affairs in order because there's so many things I'm doing that I need to, I need to be able to focus. Um, I love game dev. Tell me all about it. I will love to tell you about it. <laughs> uh, pull up the doc. Oh, that is a great idea, Swift2. That is a great idea. Um, do, 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 where's my docs? There we go. I have like so many tabs open. I've started organizing them into different windows. <laughs> it's getting so bad. Um, I got to visit a movie studio near me and they used Unreal Engine for a virtual uh, environment and I was hooked. That sounds awesome. That is sick. That is really, really cool. Um, okay. So... When you hear this, just understand. The game is intentionally overambitious. This is my lifelong part project that I will be working on for the rest of my life. I guess that's what lifelong project means. Uh, I'll be giving it the labor of love, constantly updating it. Um, but it's just supposed to be essentially... Think like Ready Player One, but slightly less scope, okay? Um, theoretically with mods, I guess it could be that level, but, um, the game is set in, like, this, um, you know the sound stages? That is awesome! Yes, I know those sound stages! Th those are awesome! Those are awesome. Um, so, like, it's kind of set in, like, this, uh, sci-fi, um, here, where, where, where's my setting at? I can give you the... The setting is anywhere, any when. That's what we wrote down. Because the idea is it's in sci-fi, kind of futuristic, uh, by default. Um, by default. Uh, but it, it, it's set in space and on Earth. I'm still deciding, like, all that kind of stuff. It's like everything I thought Starfield should be as well. So think Starfield, but better as well. Um, and so with time travel, we want a time travel mechanic. And I'm still debating on how in the world this is supposed to work, but I've got an idea in my head um, on how it might possibly work, because I want you to... I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I'm going to tell you guys this. I want you to be able to interact with yourself, which introduces a weird problem, because if you go back in time, you're constantly having to have your old self going back in time back to you. So you're the first variant of you, so you have to follow, like, the Marvel method, where it's like, if you go back in time, then you can run into old you, but you will never run into future you running into you. So that solves that main issue, right? Yeah, I could make a random event where that could happen, that would be kind of funny. But, um, main point, you know, that happens. And, um, the main problem I'm running into, though, is how many times do I allow you to loop yourself in where you're time-traveling back to the moment where you were? 
And um, because then you can actually accidentally run into five views, which is a whole other issue. Um, but that's, that's beyond the point. That's not a problem that we need to face right now. However, the main selling point of the game, in my opinion, and this is like the really cool thing. Um, so the characters in the game, right? The NPCs. Uh, let me go down to that in the document. So all the NPCs are going to be able to hear you through your mic. That is like by default an option. Now you can type instead if you'd rather have a chat box sort of deal with them. But you can talk to them. And they're going to talk back because we're going to use the new AI technologies. I know that's like kind of frowned upon AI kind of being that way. But NVIDIA has done some really great demos of like being able to talk to characters in these simulations. And I'm jumping on this right away. Like, this needs to be in every game, dude. And so you're going to be able to talk to these characters, and they'll be able to talk back, and they'll remember it. And so it'll allow you to form friendships, and, uh, you know, I, I'm even going to allow you to romance these characters. And um, if you're mean to them, they'll start being mean back. And you can eventually, like, the best part about it is every single AI uh, NPC. And every single NPC is going to have this AI integrated into it. So if you want to do the pacifist challenge in this game, which is an open world MMO RPG, no, it's not MMO yet. I might allow. I'm going to try to make it so you can have like a group of friends playing on there as well. But we'll see. That's kind of rough to get around to. But um. If you get into like war zones, because you can, I'm gonna have it where like you can get involved in wars and stuff. And so you're gonna have like these huge battlefields. Um, you can talk to the enemy soldiers and talk them out of killing you or into killing each other. And like they're all gonna have like these different resistance ratios as well. Like it's gonna get really intense. In a lot of these, because they're going to have their own backstories, like, it's going to get crazy. And I know it's going to be so resource intensive, but I, <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, I've got, I've had this idea in my head for years. It was going to be a Star Wars game originally. Uh, when I was, like, eight years old or something like that, um, I, I had this idea. I was like, what if you had a Star Wars game where it was set in the Star Wars universe, but you could do anything? Okay. Great idea. Nobody's done it, because obviously it was kind of impossible until AI showed up, because it's like, you can't realistically code in every single thing. It's just too much spaghetti. But now, you don't have to code it in. You just have to mess with some AI and try to figure out how to integrate it in a way that makes sense. I'm going to kill my voice. Oh my gosh. I'm getting too excited. I'm too excited. Uh, if you've ever played Star Wars Squadrons, the flight system is going to be very similar to that, where it's kind of like you can choose things um, and like overpower certain su subsystems. It's actually going to let you do space drifting. Um, there's going to be ways to race your vehicles out in space. You can. There's going to be cars. If you just want to live on Earth, vroom vroom, you can drive a car still. You don't have to fly a spaceship. Wow, imagine that. There's a whole planet for you to explore. If you want to go out to space, though, go to space. <laughs> uh, and the Easter eggs, dude. The Easter eggs. We're going to have MatPat. I, I'm going to try so hard to get MatPat to come into the game and do, like, a character. And there's going to be an achievement if you take over... Um, <laughs> if you take over Germany and do a couple of very certain actions as the German leader, uh, it gives you an, an achievement that says 999. Um, <laughs> there's going to be an achievement where you can actually meet me. And if you find my, my character's house in the game, you can find the creator. And I'd kind of like to do that as a tie-in to um, Ready Player One. Uh, kind of make it like when you they meet the creator there. Um, we're going to have a couple of Technoblade things where like if you get a certain amount of potatoes in the game, because you're going to be able to farm. You, if you just want to play Farming Sim, play Farming Sim. Oh. 
I'm excited for this game, dude. I am so excited for this game. Oh, but alas, I know nothing about making games. This is just so dumb. <laughs> it's so dumb. But I think it might work. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a demo idea thrown together so I know what I need to work on. And then I need to figure out how in the world to code it. Because it's, it's a large sk set of skills. Because in order to get AI to work in that way and not have to incur the fees myself. Because otherwise I have to sell it as a subscription service. I have to host the AI on the local machine. Which means I don't know how it works. I don't know. Because realistically, if you want to run AI on your local machine, we're just going to develop for PC first. But I'd like to make a VR version of the game, so um, PC VR. Uh, because I think that would be the optimal way to enjoy the game, so you can really immerse yourself in it. But main development story aside, you know, you're focusing mostly on PC. Um, and then I'd like to remote it. So you could remote into your PC, and I know Steam has this by default that you can remote in from your phone to your PC and play. I'd like to have that as a built-in functionality so you have a mobile control scheme as well. Uh, because I want people to be able to play this on every single device if they can. Uh, I don't want to gatekeep it. That's the thing. And so optimizing it as well, because I mean, I'm wanting it to be the most pretty thing you've ever seen. I've got to figure out some ways to make it kind of lower poly in some regards. So I've, I've even come up with like an optimization technique where it's like, you know what? If it's a good enough gameplay system, it doesn't need to be fancy. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to put on like Doom 1994 graphics on or 1992. I don't remember when it came out. But the first Doom game where it's like the 2D uh, PNG characters that have like three frame animations. That's what we're going to do for some of these if it's like too high power for your device to run <laughs> i'm just gonna make it so easy for your computer to run so all it has to do is focus on the ai oh my gosh i'm sorry i'm lightheaded i'm excited if you couldn't tell i get really excited about talking about this and i really do want to make it and i oh <laughs> i think it could do so well and the music tracks too i didn't even talk about the music man um, there's going to be like a music system involved when you're talking to NPCs, it plays different themes. Um, and some of the NPCs are going to be custom made so that they have like more polish to them so that it's not just like you stumble upon it and it's kind of like, eh, whatever. But some of them are going to be custom made by me, either based off of people I know, or based off of characters and kind of parodying them, or just people I just come up with, I think that would be really, really cool. And they'll have their own music themes, so when you talk to them or see them or things like that, it fades into the themes. And I have a friend who said that he'd be interested in helping with that, and um, he, I, I told him, I was like, listen, dude, it's something like over 100 tracks I think I might want. And I'd love to purchase the license to some music outright so that you could have concerts in-game, and you could go to like a Linkin Park concert, for example, and you could do whatever you want there. I mean, like, I'm not encouraging anybody to do this in real life, but for example, you could put a bomb in there. You could kill everybody there if you wanted. You could just enjoy it. If you go, you might be able to stop a plot because there's going to be a new system in the game as well that tells you, like, hey, there's all these things happening across the galaxy. If there's a war and you want to go help fight the war efforts, it's in the news. Go. It's so amazing. I... Oh... <laughs> <laughs> you guys understand, I think. I feel like you guys are the only ones that understand like how amazing this sounds. You gotta start learning or get money to hire somebody? Absolutely. I, I want to make the demo. And then I'm thinking about possibly kickstarting it. Uh, that way I can hire somebody to help me get it to where we need to get. <laughs> but I don't know where you stop with it. That's the problem. Like... At what point would I be happy with saying, yes, we can do a full release now? Because to me, this is one of those games, and I, I went on rant earlier yesterday, not yesterday, Saturday, no, Friday, I think, about how there's so many games in early access and how like it's not great. 
But this is one of those games that would probably stay in early access till the day I died because I would just keep adding more stuff. And and then like the problem of like uh oh, what do you call it? I, my big thing is once the modding system is in there, then I feel like I could at least call it done because essentially I would just post my own mods for people to download, uh, and it would just come as an update basically. But um, that's a neat thing. I want to make it so that there's a nice way to mod the game for yourself, so that it's easy to understand because. I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, you know, I want an in-depth system, basically an in-house tool almost, that we can use to make our own planets, our own uh, custom AI characters. Um, I'd like to make it so people could even submit their own characters to be added to the game completely, uh, which is easy enough. You just make a website about that. You give them a certain parameters of, like, Okay, tell us a basic character summary, some quest lines that you want them to have. Um, uh, if you want them to have a certain voicing, because it's going to be using AI. At first, we're going to just use text to display what they're saying. Um, or you can use your default text-to-speech. Uh, but if you want to submit your own voice to be in the game as well, like, you can give it away, I guess. Like... It's going to get crazy, and I know like at a certain point you reach a point where like the game just doesn't have a point anymore, but that's kind of what I'm shooting for. It's going to be so big that it's... I don't like saying this, but it's basically Minecraft at that point. Because it's so big, there is no limit. The only limit is what you're willing to do with the game. So, I mean, there's mods for Minecraft that take you from the to the depths of the internet where you do not want to be, all the way up to something lighthearted where it's like, haha, yeah, I added pizza to Minecraft, yay. That's kind of what this game's going to be, though. It's like, yeah, you're going to have this in-depth system where you can mod it wherever you want. The point of the game is just to enjoy your experience in this new world. I'm not trying to nickel and dime people for every DLC to get a new storyline out of it. I might... If I get desperate where it's like, okay, yeah, I need like a couple more bucks, maybe I'll make like a, a huge expansion where it's like, okay, yeah, this is a custom created planet with like a hundred new NPCs that were custom crafted to uh, my standard with, um, I wouldn't ever lock any like special weapons or um, things like that behind closed doors. And I would even consider doing it where you could recompile it yourself if you wanted to for free. If you're willing to learn how to compile it, I would respect it enough to let you do it yourself. Oh my gosh. But yes, like you said, that's difficult, knowing where to stop. <laughs> Make it procedurally generated would be wild. I, I'm, I'm highly considering it. I'm highly considering it because... Outside of Earth, like, Earth is easy enough to do because all you got to do is, um, we have height maps of the Earth already, so it's easy enough to generate a sort of height, height mapped area there. And that's kind of where I'm thinking I'm going to start with is just Earth. I'm essentially going to be putting out a GTA demo, I guess. We'll start with one city that's playable. And there will be custom created places throughout the Earth. Um... Earth is really easy to make. Yeah, yeah. But I want it to be like No Man's Sky in the fact that you can fly into the planet, seamless transition, no loading screen. That's one of my big gripes about, about Starfield, is that you can't fly right into the planet. The other thing about Starfield, you can only land in certain places, and you can't just tell it to touch down when you want to. So you're not actually flying it in planet. You only can fly your, your ship in space. I want to be able to fly through the planet. Oh, this game is going to be so immersive. I... Ho, 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 ho. Uh, ha, yes, I... Hmm. I am excited. <laughs> Tonight, I will probably be working on this now. I have, I have to finish a slideshow. I, I will do a slideshow tonight first. But this is going to be insane. And then, like, you can get pets. And we have a whole system, like, if you want... A hardcore mode, you know, it's, it's already there. Hardcore mode's going to be in the game. But we're also going to make a way where, like, if you die, you can choose to respawn. 
or if you want, you can continue as your next of offspring, your next kin. Uh, you can, like, if you have kids in the game, you could go, oh yeah, I'm going to take hold of my son now, and I'm going to possess him, and I'm going to play as my son. Or uh, you can just watch the game in Spectator and watch how the AI interact with each other and how the world progresses. The whole point of the game at, at some point is, though, if you stop interacting with it, it will force you to either interact with it or... Um, or it'll slowly drive itself into oblivion, uh, making you feel like you're actually important and needed in that world. Because I know what it's like to not be needed, and I'm going to fix it. <laughs> Instead of respawning, make them be reincarnated. That's also another idea, because, like, it would be cool to take hold of, like, your, your, your son, but wouldn't it be cooler to join back into the game and then run into your son? I think that would be awesome. And thank you for reminding me of that, Oswald, because... Oh, that would be amazing. And you know what? Shoot. I'm intending to add pets into the game and animals that you can take care of. I'll let you even be a, take control of a cow if you want. You could play... <laughs> you could play Untitled Goose Game or Goat Sub in my game. Gosh. <laughs> And I'd love to make like a little town uh, where you could place Stardew Valley in, in, in the game as well. Like there's characters loosely based off of the Stardew characters and loose storylines and things like that. That would be kind of a funny little thing. Um, oh man, I... Hmm. Ah yes, as you can tell, I'm ambitious. You should definitely make a game mode where there's a snail chasing... You are amazing! Yes! 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 I am adding that right now. Where, where, do I have game mode? Game mode, game mode, game mode, game mode, game mode. Do you have game modes? I don't. Okay, I will just make a note of it, uh, in Easter eggs. Cause it, it'll, it'll, it'll be an achievement if you, <laughs> you have to outlive the snail for a hundred years or something like that. Snail chasing. You. <laughs> I added a good idea. I will even add on to that that Oswald added the idea. Um, that way, it can go in the credits. Oh boy, yes, yes. <laughs> this game is so stupid. It's everything every game should be ever. And I hope to make the modding tool so easy that anybody can add whatever they want. If you want to make a, a weapon in the game, there's going to be a nice little tool that you can upload your own model. You can change the damage modifiers because you're not cheating. It's a single player game. And if you want to open it up to your friends, they know the risk of playing with you. Um, and I mean, I'm, I would be interested in having people actually run servers to see how it would go. That would be really interesting, letting, like, a whole month of players just playing, like, 100 players play in this game and kill the AI. It would be so bad. Oh, man, yes. I can't wait. I can't wait for this game. And, and just wait till I add religions into the game, because the religion wars are gonna go crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I... I... <sighs> Oh, I forgot we were going to add a battle royale into the game. <laughs> I want a speedrun taking over the world. That would be amazing. There's actually a faction in the... Um... There's actually a faction in the game that, like... Uh, because I, I knew you needed something to get you into, like, some of the combat scenarios. Um... So there's like a couple of factions in there, like there's pirates and warlords and there's the United Systems. I'm debating on changing the name there, but they're, they're kind of like the, the lawful good, so to speak. Uh, but you can join these factions too, or you can make your own. And if you make your own, then like you can pick, like it gets into like really deep territory here of like, okay, you can train your own troopers. And like, okay, yeah, so, um, 
I can hire out mercenaries or pirates, yeah. Um, you can hire out people to do your bidding and join your squads and get these like huge like star destroyer vessels and um oh, oh man you can just live in there if you want you could play your entire game within the comfort of your your star destroyer truthfully because they're so big and you can have a whole fleet of them and you could take over planets because you know what we're also going to do? We're going to take the Helldivers fighting system where you liberate planets, and we're also going to add that so you can take planets. And if you want to level cities, you can drop nukes, orbital lasers, whatever you want. It's a <laughs> The game is to have no barriers. And I can't wait. So my first point, I guess, I need to figure out is what system is most important for the game to be fun. And I think the most important is probably interacting with NPCs. And there's a really cool YouTube channel out there that's already been doing this, kind of, or he's been toying around with it. And I'm going to look into more on how NVIDIA does theirs and see if I can acquire a development kit for it. And um, we're just going to run with it. Uh, right now, the project name is just Project King. I don't know what in the world we're going to call it. I, I don't know what we're going to call it. But, um... <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, it is, it is everything, everywhere, all at once. And I, I love it. I could just call it... I don't know. I, I feel like anything I could come up with right now would just get copyrighted and taken immediately. I don't know. I'll, I'll come up with the name later on, but like the big thing is just like I need to learn all these skills because I can't wait. Name it, enter title here. Yeah. Make them write the story. Yeah, I like that idea. I like that idea. Here, let me, let me subtitle the name right now. Um. Because I'd like to play on it a little bit with that, maybe. So it's, um, it's kind of a fill-in-the-blank. And I'd like it when you reach a point in the game where it's like, okay, you're either at the end or even at the beginning having an intro sequence. Um, I'd like to have it kind of fill in the blanks a couple of times for you, and then just it tells you, hey, fill in the blank, it's your turn. I've already got, like, in my head some ideas, and, oh, man, you, you guys don't understand how excited I am for it. I, I really want to make this game, and I, I've been talking about it since April Fool's Day publicly. I've been thinking about it since I've been eight years old, and I think now's the time. <laughs> now's the time. So, you know, obviously, once I'm, once I'm a little caught up on some of my work, um, we need to get a good video buffer finished because I, I'm behind on YouTube videos. And I need to um I need to get a slideshow done tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Soon. I need to get a slideshow done soon. And then I can sit down at some point and learn Godot. And uh Well, I don't know if I'll learn Godot first. I need to decide how I'm going to work on the AI because that's like the I think that's the main selling point because that's what makes the game so unique from everything else you can truly do whatever you want because of the AI nothing has to be hard coded because of that I understand fully I get those kind of ideas daily I'm here for it <laughs> oh boy I'm glad I'm glad Cheeky Oswald I, I appreciate it you're you're amazing um I don't know how many people I've told about this game idea that I don't, I have not told, I have not told anybody from Kit's community about this idea. So feel free to tell them how insane I am or how much of a genius I am. Because they don't believe it, I don't think. But um, I have not told anybody about this idea, I don't think, besides anybody here. Uh, and you guys are amazing. Thanks for sitting through it. <laughs> Oh man, I am a first. Yay, let's go. I I feel 
I feel so happy about it. I, I've not been able to talk to anybody about this idea for so long. Ah, and being able to tell somebody, oh man, I, it makes me happy. It makes me excited. Hopefully some of my cats are grown up now so I can actually breed them again. <laughs> we've, been, we've been waiting on cats to so we can build a creeper farm. So that's probably what we'll spend the rest of tonight on, if I had to guess. <laughs> Yay. Oh man. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sounds amazing. I appreciate it. I... I mean, think... Oh, wow. You could... You could do full on, like, D&D &D sessions in that game, too. I mean... Somebody wants to make their own campaign? Like, yeah, that's... That's doable. Uh, let's get some varieties of cats if we can. Um, oh man, you could get really deep with that. I, I'm, hmm, good. Okay. Every time I sit and think, I'm just like, man, here's another great idea. And like, all the content that could be made out of it. I'm, I'm, I'm intending to devlog all of it. Um, so that everybody can see like the process of it. Because I, I... I've never made a game before, but I'm going to make quite possibly what I believe could be the biggest game of all time. Um, and I'm not going to sell it to anybody. It's mine. Um, the only time I'll consider selling it is if I reach a point where it's like, okay, I need to seriously consider what happens if I die. And um, there's not a logical successor. But other than that, it, it'll stay within my, my, my grasp. I'm gonna. I'll give it to get you new well if I if I die. <laughs> yes, yeah, vlog it. I'd watch those videos. I appreciate it. Thank you, Oswald. Uh, also, ads are about to start, everybody. So I'm gonna take a quick break because my throat is like dying. But I'm gonna go grab some water during that. Uh, it'll probably be about three minutes of ads, but you guys won't get them for another hour. Uh, I I'm gonna go to bed. All right, sounds good, Swifty. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Uh, if anybody needs to head out during the ads, no worries. Um, I know it's it's getting late. It's getting late. I must go to bed anyways. Good night, Mr. Nog. Good night. Good luck on Godot. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Good night, uh, Swift Dude. Good night, Oswald. I'll catch everybody else here in about three minutes.
All right, I'm back. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. My voice is still, uh, I, I ruined it. Um, I ruined it pretty bad. Uh, I'm back, everybody. We're good. Um, for those of you who have missed the last couple of hours, uh, let me catch you up to speed. We have hit 1,251 followers. On top of that, we have also built a sugarcane farm. And, on top of all that, um, I have been ranting a lot. I've gotten a lot off my mind. Um, and uh, it's been really good. It's been nice. However, it has torn up my vocal cords. I ranted about modding and about uh, my video game idea and... I love it. I it's so exciting when somebody else gets excited about my ideas and I I I I really appreciate it. Um and I, I appreciate your guys' enthusiasm on it as well. Um I can't wait to begin working on it though and seeing how far it gets. Um I can't wait. So, you know, that, that's why I've lost my voice. I've been really, really hyped, but uh, it's getting bad. It's getting pretty bad right now, I'm not going to lie. But it's, uh, you know, it's fine. We're good. We're okay. All right. Um, we're just kind of waiting on these cats to start growing up a little bit so that I can breed them. And then I'm hoping that I can just... Um, Start taking them over to the creeper farm where I'm going to be building it anyway soon. Uh, I've been out of rockets for all of today, which is fine, but um, I've been out of rocket, running out of rockets a lot lately, so this has been a long time coming. Uh, but uh, as you can see, let's see if I can get over here. Uh, I put it in this cave because I haven't been having any intent on using this cave for a little bit. It's like, okay. What could we use it for? I was like, wait, I'm building a, a sugarcane farm, so let's let's put it in there. So this is what we've got in here. Uh, this is my favorite design I've seen anywhere. It's a pretty good design. It, it works really good. Um, and as you can see, it's it's kind of effective. It's not like insane, but you can scale it. That's the nice thing. So I mean, right right now, I've got almost three stacks, which is pretty decent. Um. Especially since I've not been AFKing it. I've just been kind of in the general vicinity. Uh, so once I get the creeper farm going, then hopefully we can get lots and lots of fireworks. Now, I won't be able to be live long enough to get the creeper farm running today, but I might try to do something midweek if I can. Uh, I might even build it off stream. Uh, just, just for the sake of ease. Uh, we do need to go fishing a little bit, though, because, um, I am running out of fish. Uh, let's see, let's go this way, because I have a bed over here. Well, it's, uh, this way was actually probably better for me. I was going to say, I, I don't really, I'm, I'm in between two beds, and none of them are really all that close, but this one, at least, I need to just be on this side of the river in order to AFK everything. Um, but the bed is on that other side. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay. I thought I was going to make it all the way. That would have been awesome. Okay. Um... Trying to think. Uh, run fast, hi king, how's it going? It's going well, Delta. I, I, I've been having a good day today. Um, how are you though, though, dude? I, um, I saw, I saw your schedule on Discord. I don't remember what you said you were playing. I saw it was posted. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, but it's been going good. We built a, uh, sugarcane farm today. We were gonna build a creeper farm, but I got distracted, and, uh, I needed cats. 
And I lost my voice because I've been ranting all day. I've been talking about a game idea I've had, and I'm, I'm, I'm really debating just going all in on working on it. You know, I, I think I've got a chance, maybe. And um, I, I just, I've been kind of going zero filter mode today, and it's been nice. Just saying what's coming to mind. Doing good. I played some sketchies with some friends. Uh, we all died again after managing to recover our levels from last session. Oh no. <laughs> Oof. It sounds like it was probably a good time though, at least. It's, it's you know... With friends, it, it makes it a little more bearable, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let, me, let me try to... Yay, a stick. Um, that could be nice just to be honest, get things off the chest. Exactly. And, and then, like, being able to get excited about some of that stuff, too. It's just, man, it, it, it's nice. Sometimes you have to pretend to not be so excited about things because people are like, oh, yeah, you know, it's kind of cringy that you're so excited. And insert thing here, it's like, oh, you don't understand. It's not cringe. It's, it's amazing to be excited about stuff. I... I would talk to anybody and everybody about some of these things. However, it has ripped my vocal cords to pieces today. <laughs> uh, it was a good time. Yeah, take care of the voice. Oh, we'll do. We'll do. I've been I've been sipping on some water, and uh, I'm gonna rest it after stream. I'll I'll I was gonna work on a video, um, but I I think I'll probably do. Uh, hey, what do you call it? Uh, I, I've got a slideshow I'm supposed to get done before uh, Christmas, so I'll probably just work on that instead. Okay, um, what time is it? It's 11.33, okay. Um, man, I, oh man. <laughs> This, it's been a good day. It's been a really good day, needless to say. The days I lose my voice, I tend to find are the good days. It's a, it's a sign I've been a happy lad. Um, no regrets. Okay, um... Catch one more fish, and I think I can go back and breed the cats again. I think. It should be about time, anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we need... How many cats? It's four per layer, and I'd like to do four layers, so we need 16 cats. Um, we're currently at... Five cats, I think. Um... So, I mean, we're getting there. You know, you've not grown up yet. I was really hoping you'd be a little older. Hopefully that reduced the time just a tad. We'll just sit here for a minute, stare at you, and see how long this takes. Oh, man. Okay, um, I'm getting a couple of emails here that might not be good. Uh, what do we got? What's going on? What's bad? Um, Patreon. I'm not subscribed to Patreon. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Um, do do do. This is a reminder that you're on the first of a month billing model, which is not supported by Apple. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not using Patreon. I've never used Patreon actually. Don't click on any links. Yeah, I'm let me let me I I shouldn't say I've never used it. I just haven't used it in a long time. I've never subscribed to anybody either. I've been getting hacked a lot uh the past couple of weeks, so I uh yeah, I probably ought to check and make sure nobody's using my account. Okay, login. 
That is my account. Okay. Just to be sure, yeah, that's, um... That's all fine. Nothing's wrong there. Okay. Just don't use the link from the email. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, this one is... I'm, I'm not subscribed to you, I don't think. I'm, I'm on your free tier, yeah. Okay, that's weird. Interesting. It's either they were fishing or they didn't mean to send it. But yeah. I I almost never use email links just because of the last couple of days. It's been I don't know why. But I, I am being targeted. That that is the unfortunate truth right now. Um somebody's hacked into my Spotify account. And I don't have premium. And they've been hacking into it. And it was like three or four times that they got in. And I've been making new passwords for it too. So I eventually was like, hey, like, stop it. Stop it. Uh, sent an email to Spotify and they managed to log everybody out of all sessions. Because the button I was pressing, I guess it only does it for a certain amount of time. And so like it's over that hour that they log people out. So if they're still logged in, then they can get your account back. So I managed to log everybody out, and I, 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 I own my Spotify account again. But I don't know why they kept trying to steal it. It's free. <laughs> oh, it's been a mess, but it's, you know, it's fine. They did mess up all my recommendations, though. Kept listening to like Spanish rap and stuff like that. I'm like, I don't, I don't know any Spanish rap. I, I barely can speak Spanish. I've been trying to like pick it up again because I, I want to. I, I like Spanish. I think it's cool. I'm just not very good at it. Um, but I, I will never be able to understand Spanish rap. It's too, it's too fast for me. Come on, can I make that jump? I think you can. I keep engaging my wings, though. There we go. Grow. Grow up, please. Please. I thought it was about time, but it's... it's. I guess it's not. Um... Okay. I was really hoping he would grow up, though. I, I'm not gonna lie. Let me feed each of these a couple of times. And then I'll go get more fish. We will uh we will force them to grow up as soon as possible. Um Okay. Let me come down here. Okay. Um we're probably going to wrap things up after we do breed the cats again, though, because, um... You're standing, what? Why'd you follow me? Okay, fine. <laughs> That's fine. I thought, you, I thought you were sitting, but I'll take you with me, I guess. Um... But after we breed the cats again, we'll take a we'll, we'll end things off there because I'm I'm struggling. Um, but uh, it'll be it, it's been a good time, that's for sure. Okay, give me that. Uh, why do I keep getting pufferfish? Can I even catch pufferfish here? Plains, plains, plains. You shouldn't be able to catch pufferfish in the plains, right? I thought that was in a uh, warm ocean biome. I don't know. 
Interesting. Uh, lily pad, yay! They're gonna give me everything except for what I need now. I think I need a total of four fish. We, we'll go six. That way, if I can breed all of them, then it would be um, ideal. Okay, it's coming to night time, so we also gotta watch out for creepers. <laughs> I need to finish lighting up my area. I, I'm gonna remove all the frog lights eventually, but uh, until I have all the lighting stuff figured out, it's they, they gotta stay and I need to do more. Okay, five, one more. Six. Sweet. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can breed them. Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember. There was another thing I wanted to kind of briefly talk about today, but I have, I have lost my mind partially too. <laughs> um, it's hard to think. Okay, come on, we're we're there. You are. Boom. Boom. Okay, got one little guy. Okay. Little fella. He's trying to run away too. Trying to bring them all up close to each other so that way I can find them all when I need them. And we'll just give you like those. There we go. Now you'll grow up a little sooner. Okay. Uh, that's all we needed to do for tonight. I was going to do the creeper farm today as well, but I just... I do not have the time, unfortunately. And waiting on these cats to grow up is going to take a little longer than what I'd like to do to finish off that task. So we'll just wrap things up now. Um... Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to raid somebody. So if you stick around for the raid, you'll get some free channel points. And you'll get to meet a cool streamer along the way. Um, I don't know how much longer he's going to be live for. But oh, we're going to say hi to Ant. He's, he's amazing. Anthony is one of my favorites. Um. He's playing Minecraft Hardcore right now. Thanks for the stream. Sorry I couldn't make it by sooner. No worries, Delta. I appreciate you being here whenever you are. So, uh, don't don't you worry about a thing. So, if you hop in the raid, as always, you get free channel points. And you get to meet a cool streamer. Uh, this guy, uh, he's, he's funny without even trying. So, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you uh, hop in. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me yap and talk a lot. And I hope um, I'll have to see you guys again tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Where's my outro button? Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm.